Okay, we're getting ready to start. Let's get let's get everybody in. Met all Leonard, Carl, and Brian Kirby. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello, Hello everyone. Howdy. How's the sick kitty? Me? The kitty cat that is <laughs> sick in Maine. Yes. Um the medicine's kind of making her nauseous, so she doesn't need as much. So we're thinking it's probably best to just dump the medicine and let her be happy and eat until, you know. Or at least cut it back, if you can. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we cut it back to once. Well, it's, you know, it was three times a week. We cut it back to once. It's a thing that the next day, it's chemotherapy, so it gives her a metal. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, poor kitty cat. So... But I did send Terry a nice shirt that had the three cats on it for Halloween, so she liked that a lot. Aww. I wonder if That's I could sweet. share that. That's not a cat I... behind you, is it? Is it a blanket? No. Okay. <laughs> it looked like a pure white cat. <laughs> That's where they sit when they're home. Actually, I can send you a picture of the t-shirt I sent her. Okay, let's anyway. see it. Hi, Carl. Hi, Bob. Better Hi, you. Hi. Good. I'm, That's uh, quite the aura you have. Yeah, Susan likes this uh, background, so. Especially when he grows his beard out. Yes, it's, uh, yes. I just, well, I was trying to find Richard Saunders. Apparently he did a short TV show in 09, Australia's Best Psychic or something. Yeah. Oh, the one. Yeah. I was trying to find it on YouTube to see. I've never seen it. But what I came across was, uh. Like a Shark Tank Australia where they had a psychic on or a tarot card reader that was trying to sell her business. And I'm surprised none of them asked her, well, what did the spirits tell you would be would happen today? But nobody <laughs> thought that. So, but somebody actually funded her. But at least three people said this is un three people said this is unethical. I don't want any part of it. So we wrote the Wikipedia page for it here, of course. Here's here's the um, information about it, maybe. If you can find the show, I'd like to see it. I don't think I've seen it. Um, Whoa. There's all the different. The one? Uh, the one. It was referenced in Massimo Piliucci's book or his updated edition of Nonsense on Stilts. That's how I. Well, I have. I don't think I've seen. Maybe I've seen it, but I don't remember. But anyway, there's the. It must not be on YouTube or maybe. I'll... Saunders is not going to be with us tonight. Hi, Jeff. Is Julie on her way? Um, no, she's actually, she's unfortunately out again tonight. So it's just me. All right. It's nothing on this. We'll let you, page. we'll let you play. Change your, change your screen name. Oh, that's awful. Oh. Right, isn't it? Oh, sad. Oh. So are you hosting two trivias this weekend? Yes, Friday. I am. I just hung up with, uh, we just recorded Skepperty. With George, I played against George Robb and Thomas Westbrook, and it was a lot of fun. And that will air on Sunday. I can't say, obviously, what happened. And then I have trivia tonight, and then we're doing trivia Saturday night. But to do the trivia Saturday night, you have to, it's free, but you have to sign up to get the link. Well, maybe I'll send, maybe I'll hip Terry to it, and she can play from Maine or something. But it's a bit, it's at 630 it's at seven, I think. Uh, oh. I don't know. I don't know what time. It's about the same time. Something like near here. But it's Saturday night, at least. And I better pull up the link for that because I know I'm going to need it. That is, we've got such a show for you guys. Oh, Lord, it's going to be good. Oh, my gosh. I'm really impressed with the work that the team has done. Very impressed with them. So if it all goes off well, and, and the show we did today went off really well, so we'll see. I noticed some of the talks are an hour long, so. Yeah, they are. I think they're all an hour long. So this is season two. Oops. Two, episode 19, right? Carl course season two episode 19 total episode 76 
approximately. I'm going to count uh, the one we do for Skeptic House, so this should be interesting. As one of our games. You're going to count that? Yeah. And I'm doing all the questions. They're all been written and vetted already. Okay, game 76 tonight. So yeah, I'm going to have to miss part of Skeptical. I have to be at Chabot by 4.30. On Saturday? On Saturday. Oh, yeah. so you missed trivia. Went... Yeah, well, I can't do trivia. Is your voice gone? What's going on with your voice? Is it I don't your... know. How is it now? Same. Very Leonard-like. No, it's the same. <laughs> let me uh, let me turn the. Where is it? Oh, the other side. I mean, by by definition, I I think his voice is Leonard-like because it's Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> It just feels raspy, seems raspy. It's a convincing imitation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's a clone. Uh, it's pretty hard for me to sound very unleonard like. You think? I think you could do it if you tried. Let's hear well, it. You, don't, you don't do any impressions then. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't. It could be a comedy bit. You could just do a bunch of characters and it all sound exactly like you. <laughs> <laughs> I would laugh. I just heard. Oh, it's a it's a recording that um, I listened to that you guys haven't heard yet. Somebody did a did the um, voice of Thomas John, and I was like, "Whoa, this is great!" Oh, hi, Julie. Hi. She is there. I'm leaving though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Julie. <sighs> okay, that's done. Yeah, it's 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 Brian Dunning. No. Oh, look at that. So we did go see him. I was going to ask if you had. Yes. And. Uh, well, he basically he showed the science friction and then did a little Q and A afterwards. Uh huh. That's good. The guy is driving freaking all over the place. What the hell? He is driving all over the place, and he's like driving all by himself, like solo. Wow. I don't know what he, what he's thinking. Well, I guess he's thinking he want to get out of the house. Really? promoting science fiction i guess wants to get out of the house wants to uh promote his movie wants to promote his skeptoid media yeah. <laughs> that's fun it shows well, brian I mean, as boy, the face. i mean at least driving all by himself is less crowded than flying <laughs> i i guess but i mean that's now he didn't rent a car somewhere he's driving his own car right he's driving a tesla so he He's an autopilot. Oh, well, that's all right. So he's he drives a Tesla normally? I don't know. I, I assume so. I so think he, he does. Drove, he drove from Oregon over all that. Oh, my gosh. He's, dri he's driving from all over the place. He's like in a different city every day. That's where he gets all his sleep is during his car rides. <laughs> well, that's scary. <laughs> so driving the Tesla with autopilot is actually very relaxing. Is it? Yeah. I do oh, not I recommend I do not recommend napping yeah. um, uh, Hi Romero I waited until you took a bite of food Did uh, Dunning came out to your, your area and hang out with you guys for a while but you didn't get the show Science Friction huh No he was here on Monday He was out recently Gosh North Carolina wow That's just so far from Bend, Oregon. Ah, uh, how are we? Hello. He's he's so disoriented from all the. Traffic. Oh, there we go. He had he had no hey, idea man. that St. Louis was just across the river from Illinois. <laughs> he's like, and then like he goes, "Where are you from?" He goes, I, "I'm I'm over in Illinois." He goes, "Illinois, that's a long way away." It's like, well, it's just over the river. Yeah, we were chatting with him afterwards, and he like thought I made this super long drive. I'm like, 
about 30 minutes ago. So I, so she oh, goes, I, I was skirt. coming up from Kentucky and I thought I somehow came through Indiana to get here. And I go, I don't think so. Very you cute. Are you made these you shirts? Probably didn't go through Indiana unless you got lost. Oh, me? I ordered them. They're very cute. I did not make them. Let me show you. Can, can, can I share my screen and play something on TikTok really quickly? Hold on, I'm going to show, show hey, something right man. now. <laughs> oh, cool. Did you see the cat shirt? That's sweet. It's adorable. Nellie's the sick one, but she's still here, so. Very cute. Okay, let's see your TikTok thing. Okay. Sorry. Is this a mathematically based newest, TikTok? Uh, the newest. Everyone, and welcome back to yet TikTok. another round of No Bones, the game where we find out if my 13 year old pug woke up with bones. And as a result, we'll find out what kind of day we're going to have. Now, Noodle had a long day yesterday, so we will see how this goes. <laughs> noodle oh sure enough okay it's a no bones day no bones day but that's not a bad thing today we reclaim the no bones day as a day for kindness and self-care and just listening to what you need uh you know wear soft pants today no hard pants on a no bones day uh, do the sheet mask uh say no to plans if beth calls and says you know come to Legoland with me and my two kids, you know, feel free to just say you know beth you know i love you you know i love you but it's a no bones day and little carl I like your Groundhog's Day thing where you oh, it kicks me when I'm the dog. Yeah, except that it's every day. I just don't yeah. have the bones for them today. You can say that. It's fine. Yeah, it's this the newest thing on, on TikTok where it's just this, this adorable elderly pug where every day the, the this owner just props him up to see if he has bones that day. <laughs> dog. Poor booby. Yeah. All right, what else is going on? Ready to start? <laughs> Everybody gets a room. <laughs> now we got 15 minutes. Oh, my dad's probably not going to be here tonight. What? What's he I'm doing? Sure he why, but he told me he wasn't, so. Faith is sick again, so she won't be here. Yeah? Uh, why is she yeah. sick? I'm starting to get a feeling. She's uh, at work. Well, it's work. Uh, a lot of work. Yeah. So um, she's allergic to work. <laughs> Who isn't allergic to work? Susan, these are not webinars, right? These are uh, just Zoom events, and then you give the link. Are you talking about uh, Skeptical? No, this, how you organize this, because I have to do some kind Zoom? of a science cafe thing. Webinars are different. So uh, a, a webinar. Um, uh the um only the speaker the speaker is able only like the main host maybe the co-hosts are able to actually show their screen and show their video and, and you can assign and, you can assign that out though once so like if you were hosting and you had a guest speaker like susan you could turn it over to her so she could speak for a half hour and then come back to you yeah right. or you could both show each other as you talk back and forth i've never had i've done webinars but i've never yeah. Hosted. I don't have that kind of account. I might have people yeah, like on the, your, like on the, the John screen. Delancey was set up that way. It was on Zoom, but you know, those of us attending had no ability to to do yeah, it. It was it, it was a Zoom webinar. Mm -hmm. Yep. I've done this is just regular. Before. This is just regular Zoom. Okay, I've done them, but I've only let one person in the room at a time. Sorry, I'm meeting a tootsie roll. That's so, right. how many? What is this for? And how many people do you think are going to attend? Well, I'm hoping to have a couple of speakers and then have maybe 10 people viewing, but not just re use regular Zoom. Well, I'm not sure I want them in the room, though, like this. It might well, you be could you could make it so that they're pinned. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't want to see their faces. So you oh. yes. Yeah, so usually I don't see many of my Zoom controls here that I usually have are gone. So you're controlling everything. Yeah. Aha. Mm -hmm. Well, Susan's like that. Horizontal. I suppose that's for when I see people, they probably don't have control over what I'm doing, I guess. I just don't see what they see. So mm -hmm. I don't have amazing controls or anything like that. Hi, James. Hello. I just have, uh, you know, some stuff. But if you're just going to have 10 people and you don't want them to talk, you can make them, you can make them mute. 
and you could tell them turn off their video and then you could tell zoom before you start you can say if their video is off i don't want to see them on the screen so only people who have their video on will appear on the screen and you just tell you know if if you're with a group of people that you can say here's what i want you to do and they do it i don't know if that's the kind of crowd you got or if yeah, you want to just it should be the kind of crowd I have. So then you could also put them on and, and pin them. You could pin the speaker that you want and just you can mute people and make them mute and they can't unmute themselves. Yeah, right. like what happens to us sometimes in our in our Zoom. <laughs> well, <it> happens, <laughs> Someone but... checks the wrong box and then people can't unmute. Mm -hmm. So that's possible. Um yeah, that would be good. That would be best chicken. so they can Hello, have chicken. Team. Hello, little jiggy, chicky, chick, 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 chick. Which one is that? This is uh, Min, the Min? hand. He's the he's bigger than when I got her, but I think that's about it. That's as big as she can. Here comes Janine. Oh, Susan, did you see any of the um or get any of the TikTok videos that I sent you? You sent me how? On TikTok? On TikTok. Yeah. Oh, can I see those? <laughs> yeah. Did you send them to Susan Gerbic or Gorilla Skeptic? Susan Gerbic, probably. I'm not, I'm not sure which one I sent them to. There's a few of them. Here comes Cass. There's a there's this former chiropractor who is an interesting account that um, seems like somebody that would be cool to uh, interview for people. Oh, lovely. Let's see. Okay, so I don't see anything in Gorilla Skeptics. I don't, I'm not real good with TikTok. I have a few things up, but. There's like um, an, like a, a paper airplane symbol somewhere on in on the screen that you will, with a little, probably a number next to it saying that you have people that sent you stuff. I see inbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, try that. Mm -mm. So we, a former chiropractor? Yeah. Now he's a naturopath. <laughs> oh, there it is. Or a homeopathist. No, he's actually oh, he, he really talks cool. a lot about how, about all this evidence based stuff and like a lot of what he does on there is calling out chiropractors for the bullshit they do. I mean, like he calls he, himself the way too honest chiropractor. He um. What what's his name? I don't remember what his name is off the top of my head, but Aaron. Um, a A R O N, and his last name is K U B A L D C. All right. What's interesting Hi, is that, like, as like a couple months ago, he still had on his profile that he was a chiropractor, but just didn't subscribe to all this other stuff. Now, on his profile, it doesn't even mention that he is currently you know, that he says he's not a chiropractor anymore. He's like a rehab person. Oh well, that's a legitimate business. Hi, Janine. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. Hello. Hi. Let me see. Where are my people that are playing tonight with the categories? Anybody else get their booster? I've been sleeping all day. I got my booster yesterday. I'm a bit old for a booster seat. Which booster? Moderna? Pfizer, right? Uh, Pfizer. Yeah. Yeah, Moderna was, I was, was just wait. approved yesterday. And uh, Jane yeah. Gay's coming out, John right? Yeah, I think both Jane Jay and and Moderna were both approved yesterday. The CDC yeah. uh, chief just just did you talking about that? She just approved it. Yeah, she she was the final word. Well, I I may get the Moderna. I'm not old enough, but I do work with people I don't trust. Get it. Don't worry about it. I went and got it. I was way too young, but I just did it. They offered it to me. It's not like they're we're cutting in line. It's it's going to depend on on your loc on your your local situation. Mm -hmm. But it seems yeah. unlikely that they're going to be too picky about it. Yeah, they aren't. 
they just asked like a couple questions and I just answered yes to them and I, I was I had an appointment. So but yeah, I, fortunately, I kind of old people there. Yeah, fortunately, I'm old enough. Well, there was a lot of people who were very old, like in wheelchairs being pushed by, you know, very bad shape. I still hear yeah. the dumbest stuff. When Harrison Ford got his vaccine early on, he said, yay, good news. I was able to get the vaccine. Bad news, I'm old enough to get the, <laughs> able to get the vaccine back then. Right. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Right. Yep. Are you boosted up, Jane? I have seven days to go, <laughs> now that I'm counting. Oh, we got our flu shot two weeks ago, and we get our booster next week. There you go. Yeah, my flu shot was 12 days earlier, and I think that's why that's behind me being so tired. As I've never had a vaccine for anything that anything than a mildly sore arm, but I was just wiped out today. Janine, this, this, is, this is the first thing. My booster was the first thing that ever really got me to feel something uh, so i don't know why but i did well it was it's good to know that it's having an effect because <laughs> i was complaining that that all my others were like oh maybe they're not doing anything maybe i just got <laughs> sailing you know yeah, i got the placebo <laughs> i got my first shot about three weeks before i got my booster so i don't think it had anything to do with it i think it's just <laughs> That's because this one has all the nanobots in it. <laughs> they had to push. They had to push it through. Yeah, all the nano I was so impressed with the pharmacy. There was not a single homeopathy uh, remedy on their shelves in their little store. Yeah, not I saw that you posted one. that. That's really cool. I mean, how I about how that. about coldies? Do they sell that? No. Airborne. Airborne. Mm -mm. Emergency. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. plus. But I did see echinacea, and I think now that I think about it, that they had turmeric. So okay, so they had a little this, bit this, of other the things. There's, there's, there's yeah. still some nonsense. Just a little bit, yeah. can not you use turmeric for something? I mean, yeah, as a, as a spice. Yes, yeah, a seasoning when you cook. That's not my favorite. But. <laughs> it's supposed to help with inflammation, but yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It's it's, I, it just, yeah. it's just just nonsense. Well, doesn't didn't Isabella's uh, teacher say that she was cured of COVID by uh, what was it zinc? Uh, zinc water and uh, garlic. And so Isabella's going to talk tonight. She's dying to tell you the story. I, I was showing a couple of people this are earlier, but she was texting me from the class as the class was going on, and she was recording her teacher. For, she, I said, what are the other students in the room doing? She goes, they're looking kind of nervous. Wait, wait, the teacher was saying this in a classroom? Yeah, it was her why was physiology why? teacher and her lab in a college. For zoology. What, what, what subject? Physiology. Oh, God. She was also she was proselytizing about the Bible, by the way. Well, that was on her lab thing. That was her, like, biography Where for the class. going to school? Hi, hi Kyle. East Podunk, oh, California. I would complain about that. I mean, well, she is. She's gonna. She's gonna. Um, I was like telling her. Yale started teaching um, uh, therapeutic touch or something for. Oh. Uh, you know, well, every night I get so well, almost almost nowhere has stopped teaching therapeutic touch. Yeah. That is a standard thing in nursing schools. Yep. Oh, it's so frightening. No wonder they don't get their vaccinations. There you go. So this is from her lab teacher. I find solitude in tending my patio garden, experiencing music, okay, and reading the holy scriptures. The most important thing in my life is my Christian faith. It is my highest wish to reflect this love and godness to the world to you. This is also, and it goes on and on and on. Oh my God. That's, that's, I said, how did this woman- Where was, where was this on her personal website? That's from the school lab, her bio. That's, that's, her, that's her description of herself. Well, yeah. it kind of, yeah, so, so I said, um, I, I think you can, that's, that's fine. Yeah. I know, yeah, but it kind of shows that sometimes time. things are overshared. Yeah, but it, yeah, it like, doesn't, it, it like doesn't if violate anything. Her, if that's just on her, uh, her bio, I mean, I, it kind of makes me uncomfortable, but I don't think that there is 
anything that one could really do about that. The issue would be, is she putting that on her assignments? Is she like actually trying to- No, it's not that. Or, what happened oh, is she showed okay. up for school today, the, the lab teacher with a face shield, no mask, and she came in and told everybody she'd just gotten over COVID. She cured it with zinc and yeah. garlic and people should not get their booster shots. And it was trying to explain why not to. And then she went on a rant about uh, celiac disease. And, and Isabella recorded that little bit for me. It was just 20 seconds she recorded and shared it with me. I was like, what? <laughs> And she was going on and on about stuff. And I said, report this woman. Don't, no, you can't, no. What was she saying about celiac? Let's see. I've had students with that. It's nasty. Well, I don't know enough about it to know, but here, I'll play it for it. It's only 20 seconds long. It basically it destroys your intestinal tract if you don't treat and it. And once you realize it, if you have real celiac, not these whack or gluten sensitive people, if you have real, yeah. I mean, you got to keep, crumbs uh, almost a separate kitchen for your kids right my my daughter had yeah. celiac disease she was very very ill before we found out what was wrong yeah. with her it's and a ray hyman has nasty there. thing ray hyman, yes. has it. Ray, ray hyman has it okay it's 20 seconds 200. long it's 20 seconds long it's just the audio listen <laughs> Disease, if you stop eating gluten, the antibody levels will go back down to normal. So then it will look like you don't have celiac disease. But then as soon as you eat that gluten again, your body is ready and it will just start okay, booster. That's all I'll say. Because just like with celiac disease, if you stop eating gluten, the antibody levels will go back down to normal. So then it will look like you don't have celiac disease. I don't know. I don't know anything about that to know if that's anything's right or wrong. I, I have no idea, but she's in teaching a physiology class. She has, no idea, she has no business talking about celiac disease. Physiology, if if I understand correctly, is like your body parts and stuff, right? right. It's, it's structure. It's how things function, not... Anatomy is the structure. Physiology is how things function. Yeah, you know that, that, that's appropriate for for if you're talking about the physiology of of your gut and your intestinal lining. That's mm -hmm. a perfectly reasonable thing to be talking about. But I'm not sure that that information is correct. Oh, that that's that that's a different that's, issue. That's the problem. Yeah, because because the the fact is, celiac is. Um, not exactly an allergy. Right. So the whole antibody thing is just misplaced. So what yep. she was saying was, if not dead wrong, at least misleading as hell. Yeah. Um, and if she was relating it to something about the uh, COVID vaccine, it was just wacko. I don't know if it was related to it or not because all I know is that she was she's texting me from class and yeah. then she just sent me that little audio <laughs> clip. I said, uh, "Listen, record the whole damn thing because you want to be able to report it." You know, you know what zinc is good for? Your water heater, galvanizing. <laughs> yeah, rust. You rust. know, you know. After I had a baby, I I had a dietitian who kind of was helping so we had group classes and I I went in and I said I don't know but I am craving oysters and I cannot get enough oysters and she goes oh you need zinc it's used in the repair of tissue huh. I took a zinc supplement for a little bit and then it just died down and then I could a normal diet was just fine and I wasn't craving anything again and I think she probably was right on she was very uh knowledgeable and a PhD dietitian and and everything else that I ever had from her was fabulous information so. oh I mean zinc is a is a thing 
Yeah. Uh, it's necessary for, necessary. for for normal human function, yep. but in most cases, yeah. normal diet takes care of it. But yeah. sure, you could yeah. have a deficiency. Yeah, I just had a real strong need for it for a while while I was repairing tissue and stuff. Um, my my body would not know how to crave for oysters because it's never had it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I came from the coast and I, I love oysters, but I was just like, it was ridiculous. It was just, you know. Okay, so I'm going to set these up. Oh, I've got to remember to put Bob and Bob in the same room. Who's doing around tonight? Um, yeah. First up is Rob, uh, Rob Palmer. What? Am I going already? What? This not, is not yet. First What's up? your first? Your one. You've done this before. It's not your first rodeo. You'll be all right. No, I mean, if I'm up first tonight. Okay. Bob. Susan, yeah. I don't don't you don't need to put my computer in the room. Okay. I leave it in the I leave it in the main room, and then it, the chat doesn't go away. I can see the the, the questions on my computer. Okay. I don't see it on here anyway. Well, it's it keeps. I'm having problems. I'm gonna. It should show up. It. I just got my internet back. I don't know what's going on. So. Okay. Yeah, and we don't really need it till the first category, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we could have power outages. We're having a little storm. Ooh, we yeah, had rain. Mostly, mostly it's just an Oregon rain. It's a very nice Oregon rain. Hi, Peggy, it's by the way. Heavy rain. Okay. okay, so I need to add some people to this. Susan, did you mean to give me powers? Yes, I sure did. Okay. Leonard's got the powers. I've been trying to give it to different people. I, uh, I've been letting people in. Oh, okay. So I am trying to get these rooms together. No, no riffraff. Oh, Caspian? No, only people I recognize. Caspian listening? Good God. Caspian's not listening. I could, I could reference a vampire film and say, let the right one in. Hello? Hello, Caspian. Is, is Jamie there? Yeah. I, I listened back to um, two weeks ago when I went with the Beatles, and I must apologize to Jamie for her, her brilliant uh, injection of a comment that no one noticed and I didn't even notice about um, the Hail Mary project. Oh, because she was talking about a project Hail Mary. I just say Mary. She said, oh, this is going to be rocky. And, and I just. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you know what she's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't really give it anything away at all. No, it doesn't it give like, it any right. That was kind of funny. When I when I got to the part where that, it's like, oh, that's why she said that. <laughs> oh, I'll let her know. Yeah. Yeah, that was clever. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That works out well for the first room. Hi, Robin. Um, okay, so Rob's up first. You're in the first room. Caspian, you're up second. You're in the second room. Karen will be here eventually. She's in the third room. Jeff, you're in room four. And Carl, you're running the bonus category in room five. Oh. Brian's going to get to do my category. Usually I go later, it seems, and Brian leaves early, so he never gets to do my categories. I thought I did it last week. Did you? Well, not last week. Two weeks ago it was. The Beatles. Did you do the Beatles? No, I would have liked to do the Beatles. Oh, but see? No, I didn't do it. And you're talking about the the music, right? Not the... The hmm? Beatles with an A. <laughs> that gives me an idea. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Susan, so it was yeah. too e it was too easy last week. Every team got a 10. Yes, so. we got a 10 on the, that. that every team. Easy. So this is going to be retribution, by the way, this week. Oh, great. Is it the plastic Ono band? <laughs> Working out your issues, Rob. Well, you know, Leonard complained, oh, that didn't spread us out at all. And it's like, okay, you want to be I spread out? I complain, I merely commented. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys in your rooms. So here we go. Five. I just need to add to room. Oh, did you talk about your uh, your quiz game? No, 
I mean, I mentioned it, but I can't oh. say anything. I'll, I'll mention it again, but I, I can't okay. say what happened. Yeah, sure. It's a big secret. Secret, did you, secret. Did, did, you kick, did you kick Rob for me? George Rob? Kick him? No. You didn't, read, you, you didn't read my text about that, huh? Kicking him? Was it from you specifically or was it from the group? No, it was from me in the Australian Prediction Group, I think. Okay, let's see. Oh, teach Rob something. Oh, <laughs> you'll, you'll be interested in what he had to say, but it wasn't related to that, but you will find it interesting. Okay. All right. See you later. Caspian, all I can see is your part. And it's, you know, it's a nice part, but I don't want to look at your part. <laughs> and we're back. Susan, there was only the three of us and Brian's leaving early and Carol's doing a category. So hopefully we'll get somebody else later. Yeah, well, I will, I will take Carl's place. So I hope it'll be good. But yeah, you will. I've got. Um... We, just, ju we just don't count you as an effective member. Of the team <laughs> oh, hey. oh, that's not We're recording. Reason. We're recording don't this. <laughs> oh, remember that, Carl with a K. Don't listen. <laughs> There's another team that has only three people, too. So that's all right. Mm. We, we don't will, have that many will. people tonight, comparatively. Yeah, well, they're, they'll come late. I know they will. I've gotten texts from people who said, like Deborah says, I'll be here at 6.45. And is it 6.45? Almost. So Rob is up first. Is that what you said? Robert yes. Robert Palmer, the famous musician. He is simply irresistible. Oh, I know. Is he here? Oh, we're losing, using these lines and he's not even here. That's right. He'll listen to the recording. Are you, really? You make the recording public? Um, yeah, they're all they're all public. He, he's heard it. Hey, Susan, yes. did you mean for our team to have two and a half people? So I, I said, <laughs> yeah, two and a half. Because and a half. it's myself, Wilma, and Avi who has gone after round two. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know. Just saying. I, I get. The, I I just heard from another team the same thing. Yeah, we have two and a half on our team too. Really? It's short. It's okay. There's four on some teams and there's three on Why others. is it so light tonight? Where is everybody? They're on their way, I guess. And no bones day. So don't worry about it. Out. You get a How lot of chance. They're, they're following Brian Dunning on the road. <laughs> Five teams. Isn't that four piece? Am I wrong? Well, yeah, but some people are going to leave early and stuff. So don't worry about it. Okay. Two, three. Don't count because I might have messed up. <laughs> <laughs> well i like i'm feeling like when it gets down to a pair that's kind of a weird team yeah 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 so basically when it comes time for the bonus round right now it'll be peggy mm. and susan well so, Deborah's, so, on, Deborah's so, on your team she should be here in a couple minutes you, yeah. you could yeah. just make it one less team and more people no we're gonna team. have more people show mm. don't, don't panic okay. don't panic <laughs> Don't panic, as they Just say. Looking the for solutions. Says, Scott Adams. Is it Scott Adams? Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams, Douglas Adams says. Or Scott Adams is the Dilbert guy. Yeah. yeah. As, as, uh, Who writes a funny comic, but he's a bit of a douche. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's he kind beyond douche, a bit of age. So that's funny. I've not, I, you know, work, working in an office environment, we constantly had his things up, which were pertinent to an office screw ups. I didn't never heard this thing about him being off until I started posting stuff on my skeptical page. And then I see a lot of comments about that in general. But what's the specifics of that? Uh, anti climate change, I think, was, was his big problem, right? He was also a creationist. No. Yeah. He, yeah he, so his comics are fine. Yeah. Just yeah. stick to the comics. He's fine. Well, you know, everybody's got a personal life, and that's how it is. Is there? I yeah. did read. Isn't he the guy also who created a, a fake identity and went on forums praising Scott Adams and criticizing people who didn't like Scott Adams? Not that I know of. I I have heard that story. I don't know if it's true. Yeah, that would be the least of his uh, issues, I think. Yeah. Karen, I'm putting you in again. Do I need to put that link your your audio your second account with you in your room? Um, no, I will only use the second account when I do my category for cutting and pasting. Okay. And All right. You. So I don't have to do anything with it. Okay. Deborah's here and Wilma's here. Hi, Wilma. I, I apologize in advance, Wilma. 
My oh, category man. is up first. So I so should. My first category is things Canadians won't know. <laughs> <laughs> things you needed to watch TV to know. So Janine, too, you'd have to apologize too. Okay, so the thing I need to make sure I let you guys and, know ahead and, of time and she's on my team is that um, I apologize if, you, if you're giving categories and you're going to be doing anything that revolves like music or anything like that. Let me know so I can pause the the recording because it took me forever to get the Beatles songs out of our our uh, thing our um, video because it, YouTube just tagged it as soon as I put them up. But I was trying to put it on YouTube so that I could edit it but as soon as i put it on even though i made the video private it went and tagged it and, and blocked yep. the video really a pain in the ass so if you're going to show anything that's copyright you know some stuff is okay but the beatles was definitely not okay they freaked out you would think they didn't have it like, you know oh it's awful these people yeah because playing like a 10 second or a 20 second clip is going to stop somebody from buying their album now yeah oh yeah it made me want to listen to it more so i don't understand what their problem is but usually if what you're whatever. showing is on youtube you're pretty much okay well no 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 if the uh, if if the owner of the uh of the oh, intellectual yeah, yeah, yeah. property is a dick then yeah yeah what, it doesn't I, matter. Yeah. That's Another weird. thing to, to remember is that when it comes to intellectual property, if you don't defend it, you give it up. So like there's an incentive to proactively defend whenever possible in order to not have a court case brought against you that you're right. not defending it. Therefore, you don't own it. Yeah. It's it's really easy to justify being a dick. So I will just hit yeah. pause if you tell me. Of course, that'll make it a little more difficult for people listening to the video later. So, but whatever. Okay, so let's get started. We will have other people who will join in a few minutes, hopefully. If not, that'll be interesting to have teams <laughs> when a couple of people leave. All right. We'll live in it. We will be in interesting times. We will live in interesting times and you will work for your, your score. Okay, so team number one is Ben, Janine, Kevin, and Rob. And that is going to be led by Rob because he's got the first category. So what is your team name? Taking out the laundry, spelled as oh, Brian. Oh, oh, that's oh, awful. Oh, oh, oh. I figured he was dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not convinced. You know, if 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 you could be Scott, by, 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 by tech, no, uh, all I heard was a dental record. Maybe he pulled a few teeth out. I, I'm, no, I want to know what they found. I want to know what they found. Can you put it in the chat so I know how to spell the word laundry? Okay. What happened? I don't know the context for this. Oh, they for uh, Gabby Pietro. Pierre? They found some Pietro. remains, is what I heard. They found him and his and a notebook and a backpack that belonged to him. And the notebook is wet, good. so they're going to have to go. The FBI is going to have to dry it out, and hopefully, he's got some kind of belonging to who? Uh, Brian Laundry, the guy who murdered. Oh, his do you not know this story? Oh man, check out the Wikipedia page later. We'll talk Gabby later. Pietro. Yeah. Uh, one of the most Google. popular and least interesting stories around it was interesting <laughs> to follow it as it happened a man murdered his girlfriend it, it is interesting Who's because left? the number of people who say it, it, it he doesn't seem likely ignore the fact that it, domestic violence is one of the biggest killers in the country especially a girl who, who said he didn't seem likely boyfriend. Huh? No. who was saying he didn't seem likely uh, many people have here and there. I mean, different different venues. No, they're just people who believe in space aliens or something because there's Probably. no way that he didn't do it. Of course he did. He was a nice looking young white man. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, so I guess I, do, right? well, oh, they you they look at the video anybody. of him talking to the police and you just see yeah. him walking, working with the No, it's just, like, it's just like, like people I know. Stangler. And it's like, I could definitely see that as happening. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so team number two, Caspian. What kind of people oh. do you know? Caspian, who will be leaving, leading, leading, leading the People team in New Jersey. Uh, Bob, James, and Leonard. What is your team name? Our team name is That Pipe is Blocked with Human oh. Pulp. Yeah, uh, what? What's a great that? expression, Susan? I'm using my earphones. I don't know. I'm I don't on mute right, right now, but I took it off temporarily. Ask Mark. That pipe is blocked with human pulp. <clears throat> Oh, Mark isn't around. He's in the other one. Is, is this a reference I should know? It's a reference that Mark knows. 
Okay. Oh, when he comes by, I will ask him what the someone heck should, is. Someone should mute Deborah. Why? I muted myself. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, because you were you were uh, talking to somebody and it was. Yeah, she was not muted. You were not muted. You're still on. Okay, muted. room number three is Jane, Kyle, Romero, Robin, and Karen. It's like I probably should have taken one person away from that team. Yeah. Does Jane, Kyle, Romero, or Robin, not Karen, want to move to a team now before we get any farther? <laughs> We've bonded. Okay, well then everybody else is screwed. Okay. So Solidarity. <laughs> So Jane, Kyle, Romero, Robin, and Karen, who are you? Politically correct, non-appropriative rain dancers. <laughs> okay, there's another reference. Definitely I thought didn't have to paste that one. Okay, did like everybody on the team come up with a word and you were just putting <laughs> <laughs> and no word association. Free association. Far off. We are no, no, it's because we don't have any rain in California. And we're, we're getting some this week. We need it. We would like to dance. We would like to do a rain dance, but we don't want to be accused of cultural appropriation. Oh. And who is correct? That rain dancing will work. I see the I see why you guys bonded in the room together. That's, <laughs> that's great. Okay. So room number four, it is wow. Uh, Avi and Jeff and Wilma, who I guess has disappeared again, and Deborah will be there huh? in a few minutes. No, Wilma's here. No, Wilma's here. Yeah, she's, right oh, there. she's not in my, uh, she's not in the she's, chat. She's her right video's there. working, but her audio is having trouble. Okay. All right. No Bones Day, so no team name. <sighs> so is the team name No Bones Day or is the team uh, It's the Boone It's in the chat. The, it's okay. in the chat. No so Bones no Day, so okay. no team name. Okay. Okay, so weird. All right, sounds great. It it may not be helpful to get so much of your life from TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> Did you see I when totally I shared the screen that he anyway. had Is all those math thing? things at the bottom of yes. his TikTok? So so he's getting his math. Brian Kirby, Carl, and Peggy, who are you tonight? Frankly, we've always held Steve Bannon in contempt. Oh, <laughs> that wins. That's a winner. Oh, That's a winner. winner team name. That's Carl. Yeah. Oh, here's Paul, Paula, so she can be on your team. Okay. Sounds good. So we're 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 we'll be so lonely here. Okay, Paula. Thank you, G, for joining Paula because I was getting hell from these people because I had a team with a little too much. Winner, winner, <laughs> chicken dinner. I like that one. That's good. Okay. So here we go. Uh, Paula, you're going to be on. Frankly, we've always held Steve Bannon in contempt, okay. and that will be playing against taking out the Brandon laundry. My favorite, I love him. <laughs> taking out the laundry, spelled like Brian Laundry, and followed by that pipe is blocked with human pulp, mm. and then followed by we are the politically correct, non-appropriate rain dancer. C O R R E C. Oh, appropriate. Just appropriate. start with politically correct. I'm just introducing oh, our team okay. name. We are called the politically correct, non appropriate rain dancers. Okay, that makes non appropriative. <laughs> Susan, we're trying to trip you up there. Washington chapter. You've succeeded. The Washington chapter. Also, it looks like a woman's name in there, correct or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Correct. 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 Okay, I fixed it. Politically correct. You have to correct my spelling there. I did correct it. So let me fix it in here. We okay. don't rain dance in Oregon. We just get rain. Oh, we. Uh, followed by no. Well, it depends on where you are in Oregon. No team name. Mm. That's true. All right. So here we go. Mr. Palmer, you're here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Oh, what did the hell is behind him? Oh, it's Star Trek people in red. Oh, it's Q. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be Star Trek questions. Do you all watch my interview? I did, okay. but I didn't I take did. notes. Okay, so um, let's John see. John For those who don't know who this is, I'm going to just show like a 30 second clip of a video, not mine. Can I can I record this or should I pause it? It's a YouTube video. I don't know why you can't, but. Okay. 
So, but uh, so this is going to be all about the actor John Delancey, and four of the questions I have I have ten plus a bonus. So four of the eleven uh, would have been talked about in my interview. So depending so, if you. Oh, we're going to have to start making sure everybody watches Rob's interviews because it's going to be. Okay, good. so question number one. Is the is the category called? John Delancey. Okay. Actually, John Delancey cues, as in questions. Because uh, 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 uh. <laughs> almost every well, the, the the significant majority of Trek episodes he was in had Q in it. All right. Question number one. Five years after his first TV credit, in 1982, John Delancey got his big break, landing the recurring role of Eugene Bradford on an NBC show that had been running since 1965 and still is. Bradford experienced psychic premonitions, which occasionally helped Salem police solve crimes. In 1990, in his final appearance, he activated a time machine, which he, I wish I had watched the show, which he had invented and disappeared in an explosion never to be seen in the series again. Name the long running show. Question number two. Delancey has appeared in, or lent his voice to, at least 63 TV shows and 26 films. In which of the following TV shows did he not appear? Battlestar Galactica, 1979. Breaking Bad, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I hear sounds, so people are not muted, by the way. Whoever's got yeah. the powers. Leonard. Let's do that before I go on. Who's got the powers to mute people? Leonard. I should. There we go. Okay. Um, so again, Battlestar Galactica, Breaking Bad, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, The Beverly Hillbillies, The Six Million Dollar Man, or Touched by an Angel. That's question number two. Question number three. Delancey has greater difficulty than most learning his lines. Why? Question number four. In which of the following Star Trek episodes, and these are all real names, did Delancey not appear? Deja Q, Qless, Tapestry, The Best of Both Worlds, or The Q and the Gray? And another Trek question. Number five, counting the upcoming season two of Picard, how many Star Trek TV series has Q appeared in? Moving over to literature, Delancey has co-authored two books. One is the autobiography of Q, name it. A God Amongst Mortals, IQ, True Q, Q and Answers, Q Who, or What's a Q to Do? Question number seven. Delancey collaborated on a project named Alien Voices. It specialized in producing audiobooks of science fiction novels in the style of radio plays, voiced by many Trek actors. Two productions were original works featuring Delancey and another actor, both in character, conversing and bickering with one another. Name the other actor. Question eight. In 2016, there was a public gathering for secularism and religious skepticism held on the National Mall in Washington. John Delancey gave a speech there which began my name is John Delancey and I am a God. At least I've played one on TV. And I'm here to tell you as a God that I was created by humans, just like all the gods before me. Name the event where that speech took place. Question nine, Kitzmer, Kitz Miller, how we say that wrong? Kitz Miller versus Dover Area School District was the 2005, or 2005, intelligent design case, which ruled that ID is not science 
and permanently barred the Dover board from requiring its teachers, which they wanted to do, to denigrate the theory of evolution. And it also barred them from requiring the teaching of ID as an alternative theory. At SciCon 2019, Delancey revealed he had authored a radio play about this trial intended to help educate the public about evolution. So far, it's only been performed at a single venue in early 2020 due to the pandemic. According to Delancey, the captive audience at its two performances were expecting something else, but loved it anyway. At what type of venue was the play performed? And this we talked about in my interview. And question number 10. Also at SciCon 2019, Delancey revealed he was working with Abby Hafer, that was a SciCon speaker, and she's the author of The Not-So-Intelligent Designer, on an animated project to educate children about evolution and the absurdness of the ID concept. During the fact interview, Delancey revealed the project sadly never got off the ground, partly due to the pandemic. The project had a two-word title, God's blank. Give the full name. also discussed in our interview. And the bonus question. John Delancey voiced a character named Discord, supposedly inspired by Q, on a TV show aimed at children. It is also loved by adults, usually males, who have adopted the description bronies. Their convention was called BronyCon. Name the TV show. And that's it, 11 questions, 10 total points. Any questions? Okay. I have a question. Um, any, any chance on the questions that have more than one answer, you could tell us how many answers there are? Just one, isn't it? Only one. Oh, I thought you said name how many of these shows or something. No, just, just one. No, no. This, so that was one where a number is the answer. That was number five. Counting the upcoming season to Picard, how many Star Trek TV series has you appeared in? I can say. Or is he talking about the other one where it's a, you have to pick the one yeah, number that four. he's in not which of the in. following did he not appear? Uh, right. Yeah, it's, all, it's only one. Sorry. Oh. So I can say that Abby oh, Hafer four. has played trivia with us a few times. Yes, she has. It would have been really cool if she was here. So, all right. Rob, you want to send us to our rooms? Uh, do I know how to do that? Breakout rooms. Yes, open you know all how rooms. to do that. Join. There we go. And I'll send people to their rooms um, that didn't get um, into the room. So, Deborah, you are going to go. You are on no bones. Where'd you go? Deborah, Deborah. No bones. That is room four. one, two, three, four. Yeah. Thank you. Karen, <clears throat> you are going to go to three, the rain dancers. Paula, you are going to go to room no bones also, that's room four. Okay. And Wilma, to... you are going to go to four. No bones. Oh, is everybody going to no bones? Oh my God. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, Thank I'll you. find you guys. See you in a little bit. One is Days of Our Lives. Ah, okay. I thought it was uh I thought it was a soap opera. I just didn't know which one. Okay, so I know some of these. All right, we got one. Um, let's see. Do we it can't, know? It's got to number two. Has got to be Beverly Hillbillies. He was never on Beverly Hillbillies, was he? And that's the thing. I've seen Breaking Bad, but I can't. Oh, he is definitely on Breaking Bad. He yes, was okay. Good. Yeah, I didn't see it, but I know he's on there because that, that was part. All right, of the we'll week. put Beverly Hillbillies for now. Unless anybody else has a better. I mean, I can't original Battle that. Star Galactica. I mean, I guess uh, the what? How old would he have been at the time? That's 1979. Oh, he would have been. Could, could I mean, Beverly possible. Hillbillies be a movie? Uh, not the TV I don't know. show. Did they make a movie out of that? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. And he, I, and I, I can't picture him on that. TV but... shows and films, which but yeah, this there says, was a movie. Which, there was a movie. Well, they but did. no, this says in which of the following TV shows oh. did he not appear? So the end of the okay. question specifically states TV shows. Okay. So then okay. we're talking the original black and white Beverly Hillbillies. It's either that one or Six yeah. Million Dollar Man. He would have to be a kid in in Beverly Hillbillies. No. Right. Ooh. So yeah, I would I would guess it's D. I was and and I had a thought that he was probably in touch by an angel. 
I haven't seen. Oh God, that's episodes. awful. Poor thing. Yeah. Number three, you, whoever figured that out, that's right. He has dyslexia. Yeah, I, I filled I, some of these out before I. Uh, what are the falling shark took episodes it. that he did not appear? I don't know. The best of both worlds. I did he not appear? The best of both worlds? I don't remember. No. That is. No. Um, I mean, some of these that actually have Q in the title, you would hope that he's in those episodes, right? But Unless um but yeah, best of both worlds, they it's a two-parter, ended the third season, started the fourth, and they fight the board, but um Q wasn't really a part of that. Q like sent him to meet the Borg, and that's how the Borg originally found out about the Federation. But um my memory is is correct. He didn't have anything to do with that two part because the board already knew about him. No idea. Okay, five. I'm glad you got the answer because I have no clue. Um, I'm just trying to find out if I've missed any shows. I know he's definitely because he says counting season two of Picard. So I put Picard in there. He's definitely been in all of these for sure. I just don't know if I'm forgetting a Star Trek show. And whether he's in he's Voyager, counting. I don't remember him. Voyager, yeah, there was a time where in Voyager he visited Janeway and he even brought Riker into Janeway's ready room. I just watched a YouTube clip of that scene, so he's definitely been on Voyager hmm. and he's been on D Space Nine, I think a couple episodes in D Space Nine. Okay, two books one is out of biography of Q, I think it's A, but I don't know. That makes, because again, it's the autobiography of Q. So he's writing it as if Q is, you know, he's writing it in the character of Q. Well, then that would and, be true of IQ also. Yes, but he also likes to call uh, them mortals a lot in the show. So that's where when you, you know, you mentioned A and I go, A sounds kind of right to me as well, but... I don't know, true Q, T, I didn't I, I read think the it's God against so. mortals, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give up my firstborn son. Except he's on a competing team, so maybe. Because again, the, <laughs> the way Q always acted in the show, he was always felt of himself as a god amongst that would mortals, be the perfect so. thing for Rob to put in as a fake title, though. That's true. IQ. I don't think it's IQ. I don't know. See, that sounds like something that's making up because there was an episode called. Uh, I think I we're heard. overthinking it. I think. Yeah. I think. I'm let's gonna, go with I a. say we go with A, and if we get it, we get it. Um. Let's see, Lancy. I don't know if seven. Audio books. Put down Patrick Stewart. That's a good guess. Didn't they have screen time a lot? Yeah, they did on um, Star Trek, sure. I, Patrick sure, it's a wonderful guess. Yeah, that's uh, that works for me. And I know he does uh, audiobooks. He's got a wonderful voice also, but I know he does audiobooks, okay. Okay, this is, this is um, the Reason Rally. The what? Reason Rally, the Reason, reason. Rally. That, yeah, for the reason rally, I don't know. Yeah. And I'm pretty Susan, sure acid to the team this week. Oh, this this week, There's this is correct, like right? Wasn't that on one of the Star Trek cruises? Because they tend to, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because is they don't just nine? do stuff about Star Trek. Nine, yeah, yeah, that's nine. I, you know, I thought that was at a college from the interview, he talked about it at the college. Being you know, I was thinking it was a school board, school held at a school. It was some kind of school thing, because remember, they talked to students and the teacher sent the students to it, and there were some creationists. And Yeah, I think it's a school, it's a school, like a, a high school, school. A school or university. Well, school is a university, Maybe a high so just school. school. So yeah. just put school? Okay. school? Yeah, I think the plan is to do them on cruises. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I thought I remember that coming into it, but yeah, now that you're explaining it, that, that yeah, that's Janine, I agree. Um, I just remember that I remember a few things from the interview, and I thought that was interesting because I know the trial. Abby Hafer. He was working with Abby Hafer on the not so intelligent designer. Um 
the project had a two word title God's shoot if somebody says it I'll probably say oh that's it I I remember that but it was very confusing in the interview God I mean I remember that part of the interview but I don't it was something clever I thought like um be like God's birth or something that's not it God's, no. God's revelation no like I said, I think I'll get it if you say it. God's evolution? No. God's dead. More like, it's more like something that implies that God's mistakes or something oh, like right. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because again, error? It's, it's based upon the not-so-intelligent designer. If he was yeah, the not an intelligent so intelligent. designer, why did oh, he... Oh, I know. Abby it? Hafer is always talking about how animals and things like that are not really well designed they're they're always they're right. you know, if you right. were to design it it would be in much better shape than right. what she right. applied so, so it's so got some god's errors god's, so god's mistakes god's, god's mistakes yeah, god's mistake sounded good when you said that to me but i don't know susan you said you'd recognize it once you heard it so oh uh, maybe i lied mistake <laughs> sounds like it's most likely god's mistakes Let's put that for now in case I, I we don't that's, can't think of anything else. That fits. Why he, you know, fits with the thing. And then I got the bonus too. Oh yeah, I my watched, little pony. I, I watched my little. Do you even pony. know friendship is magic? Yeah, that's like the full title. Oh my goodness! Because there was a My Little Pony back in the eighties too, if you remember. This, this is the newer show because no, I, I watched it. My my oldest was growing up at that time, so I was I've watched a ton of My Little Pony with with my kids. <laughs> I have boys, and so they were watching Power Rangers. Yeah, uh, Barney. So DJ so I watched Barney. I watched, uh, love Barney. Yeah, Barney. And we, and Thomas my kid got a lot of a lot of uh, My Little Pony toys. So, in fact, I think I even posted a picture on Facebook years ago of. Um, like so I like Transformers so you know uh the my kids will watch Transformers with me and then I'd watch My Little Pony with them you know so uh, oh had, what a sweet dad we had pictures of of uh Transformers and 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 My Little Ponies working together <laughs> on Facebook I think it's great you know if you've seen that they're starting at least in California I think they're making it less likely to i think you have to have a non-gender section in toy stores in california now like a and then i think in mm -hmm. finland where is it is it finland that's making it so you can't gender the toys and i, yeah, I guess that makes sense. lego is lego is coming out with they've they've pledged to non-gender their toys too they're going to make them oh, that's good so that you know there's not a Which boy interesting because they just recently within the past few years came out with the you know girls line of of lego toys you know what it's like it's a the, it's a farm with horses and stuff i'm sorry Jenny. what were the answers on two and five? Oh sure let's go back uh two we're thinking beverly hillbillies that's what we have starred question five is five five is five that would be interesting if he made that question five as a kind of like his little joke that sounds like Rob. I know it's at least five. I just don't know if there's anything I'm forgetting. I mean, there's really not any other shows. The only other show we could have been in that was on after Star Trek The Next Generation would have been Star Trek Enterprise. But that was a prequel show, so we should have not known him then because we first see him in... But they do. They did that kind of stuff all the time in Star Trek Enterprise. They broke. They break the timeline. Oh yeah. So. Well, they got to bring in people and it's yeah. all about. That's the problem with prequels is that you're fixed between a certain period of time. So, but I'm pretty sure I don't think he appeared. I just hope I'm not forgetting because I haven't watched Enterprise enough. Like I've watched Next Generation numerous times. I'm rewatching all of Star Trek with my with my oldest right now, anyway. So, but we're currently in Deep Space Nine timing. Okay, how are you guys doing? About the we're done. Ones? We're done. We just hopefully have all the right answers. Hey, good job, everybody.
All right, Susan, perhaps you can answer this question for me. I can't hear you though because oh, you... 42. No, last That's Scott Fitzgerald. So last night I had a China. dream that I was in a fist fight with Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> Actually, he was more like he was punching. <laughs> He was punching me in the face over and over while I was trying to explain to him, no, no, it's just a misunderstanding. It's just a misunderstanding. Something about I had moved some seashells on the beach that he thought were his. And he was punching me and then he started to cry. So <laughs> wow. you know what a dream like that means. Who is this guy? Danny who? Bonaducci. You know, Danny Partridge. From the Partridge family. Oh, it's okay. Here's, here's my answer because I like this kind of stuff. It's, it's Bonaducci, right? Or bad, bad yeah. well, I why, am I, why am I not surprised that he's the one punching you? Because I, I came in <laughs> at the end uh, talking about the punching. And then once I heard who you were talking about, I'm like, oh, yeah. Because this is a dream like, he had. And he's three okay. times right in the face. Ryan, yeah. did you ever meet him? No. Anyway. I would say. I'm a douchebag. <laughs> I would say to you, how did it make you feel? I felt bad because it was a misunderstanding. I moved these seashells. From one end of the beach to the other, and apparently why were you moving the damn seashells? Was Sally selling them? No. Anyway, I don't know what the. <laughs> You're not to supposed well, to move stuff around I on the beach. I know they're yours. I've just collected them here. I know they're yours. It's okay. He kept punching me in the face, and then he started to cry and left. And who's I said, this? "Who did Danny this?" Bonaduce. Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> and who's he? <laughs> That's what I said. He's a Partridge family, family guy. guy. And why were you on the beach with him? I don't understand. It was a dream. It was a dream. Oh. He's asking me about his dream. Oh, that... <laughs> I would say, okay, Brian, yeah, I would you. say when it comes mm -hmm. to dreams, that it's it's something that you're feeling something you're in your life and it materializes in these weird ways. I just feel like you're you're upset about you're very hurt that you that you've caused a misunderstanding and for some reason that's just bothering you. You yep. probably had the Partridge family on and it's the episode where he gets in a fight with Mr. Kincaid. You know this? <laughs> no, I'm just guessing. I mean, you know who these people are? It's well, the Partridge, Partridge family, family Category, show. Category, so many of the category. <laughs> oh, my God. Bad? I actually I, met I the guy. Know, but I think it has something bag. to do with how you feel about that. And somewhere in your deep, dark your whole of your heart or whatever it is no, it's not very you were watching the partridge family someday and you saw danny and you said to yourself that guy's a jerk and i and i think he's misunderstood but he's still a jerk and so it's fast forward a bunch of decades <clears throat> it's come out in your dream wow yeah I think, okay I think are we ready for just a dream. Are we ready? Therapy. ready for the answers <laughs> yes please are we ready for the answers Oh, come Let's on. Have some I, I was analyzing dreams. That was fun. Oh, okay. Um, question number one. I'm not going to read the entire thing again, but it's basically his, uh, you know, big break was days of our lives. Yay. Yay, Kevin. Yay. Thanks, Kevin. At least you guys, because of the length of the run that I put in there, it should have been obvious it was a soap opera. Does anybody know whose girl, what his girlfriend's name was on the show? You do? <laughs> My wife will know. You know? Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Oh, his, Deborah, his there's something name. about you I didn't know. Oh, oh, I watched this show for years. Do you remember him exploding in, in a time travel accident? You know, I think I must have oh, I've stopped watching it before that happened. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's but, scary. But uh, Calli really Calliope was, was his girlfriend. Wow. She was kind of a nutball. Well, he was a sidekick guy, right? So I guess that goes together. All right, question number yeah, yeah, two. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was all spooky too, yeah. Number two. So this is the uh, which TV show did he not appear in? And I, I gave enough information, and I actually I saw Caspi and Sussing it out. I hope other people did that. Uh, Beverly Hillbillies was too early, so that was the Yay. answer. Yay. Yay. That ran from 1962 to 1971, six years before Delancey's first acting role. Yay! As as I said, he would have been like twelve. Or but <laughs> that, could have been. that could have been a child actor. That, That's that true, is, but I don't. I don't, I don't think I read that on his Wikipedia yeah. page, though. So. Wow. Now I Question. Need to go back and watch Battlestar Galactica, so I can She's see what episode he was in. Delancey's yeah. Wikipedia page. Question number three. Uh, Delancey had greater difficulty than most learning his lines, and we discussed this at some length. He had dyslexia or has dyslexia. It doesn't go away. And uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Even when he reads lines that like they just send them, he's going to read into a microphone for a voice part. 
he's got to blow it up large and circle things and reprint it out. So put notes on it. It's really, really troublesome. It's amazing that, you know, that's how he's uh, been successful and, and struggling with that his whole life. But I think that's kind of an inspirational story. Yeah, it's really a good interview. You should all listen to yep. it if you, if you didn't. You. Question number four. Um, so that is the best of both worlds. Yay! Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. Oh, my God. Totally Nothing guessed. Dark. We were Correct trying to guess. talk ourselves wow. out of that one. I mean, it is his fault that they... Yeah, it is that, correct. But yeah, it he, is correct. he made him meet him. Spoiler, he introduced the Federation to the Borg, and that was the big blow up with them. Yes. Question number five. So did anybody say five? Yeah. We yep. did. Very good. Nah. The next generation. So plus or minus we how many? Said five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should have done five. <laughs> the next generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Lower Decks, and Picard. Lower Decks. Oh, one. you was on Lower really? Decks. Yeah. So was, I actually have the clip. I am about to show it to you. Oh, cool. It's just a few seconds. It Might need really to pause. I mean, it makes recording. sense. Yeah. <laughs> who, who was, what was the answer? Well, it was five. five. It was five. five. Right. Uh, wait, yeah. wait, wait, five? Yeah, five. five, 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 five including the right card. Season. Oh. Right. You get it right. Yeah, we got it. Okay. You get it right? Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. I, Good. And question number six. Um, so let's see. Yes, this is his book and i am going to oh i thought you were talking about the book no you mind. resume recording yeah thank you for reminding me but i did so here is the book which i brought with me to psycon and got autographed oh, damn it. Uh -huh. I, oh damn it's got the universe or a galaxy in the bottle kind of cool we were yeah. thinking of that. We went back and forth. Yeah, that's and as I heard somebody important. say, hey, if I brought all the, that list of names to a publisher, I would have picked IQ for, for an autobiography. So, yeah. Guys, yeah. this is why you want it's to go to best. conferences. You bring your books to get started. <laughs> that's true. All right, question number seven. So uh, Alien Voices was a production with Delancey and Leonard Nimoy. And in oh, fact, uh, they were they called Q yeah. versus Spock. <clears throat> so Leonard Nimoy is the answer. Yeah, and you could find at least the second one of those on YouTube for free. I could not find the first one anywhere. Uh, number eight, and we did talk about this in my interview. It was called the Reason Rally. Mm -hmm. Yay! I knew that one. And question I nine, also discussed in the interview, they were on a Trek cruise on a cruise ship. Yeah. yeah. We talked. We. That's what that's what Ben wanted to put, and then Janine and I talked about it. Oh uh, no! What did you put? We put apologize. What? What did you put? A school. A school. Mm -hmm. The interview you talked. Yeah, the thing you talked about. You went to a. He went to a school. He was and talking all the about students Tuesday. were creationists. Yeah. No. Yeah, that was the other incident. That is where oh, he. Oh, we got him. Confused. He got energized sorry, to be. Inactive. Sorry, Ben. No, I, I right. thought the captive audience was a really good. Yeah. Hint. Yeah. Thank you. And Susan didn't get it. Damn. No, I I really did think it was a school. Well, he like, used the phrase captive audience. He did. He did. He Question number 10. Time. All right. So the other thing that he was doing, but uh, got uh, didn't go anywhere because of the pandemic. And I don't know. He's very upset about it. Maybe it'll get resurrected. But it was called God's Goofs. Oh. <laughs> Anybody get that? No, but we were, yeah. we were on the right we track. remembered it was something yeah, of like, along well, mistakes. What yeah, were the other answers? That's what we had. Like, like, we put God's, God's mistakes. Mistake yeah, we put God's mistakes and God's goofs. That's close God. enough, right? <laughs> God's, God's <laughs> blunders. Oh, God's that folly. that would have been good. God's what? God's what? Goofs oh, is way better. Blunders. God's folly. God's folly. Good. good, all good answers, but not right. Okay, God's are better actually. <laughs> and <laughs> God's goofs is pretty good. And the bonus is better. For a point, if you need a point, uh, it was My Little Pony. We had he that. Was, he was good in that. That's right. Specifically, Friendship is Magic, but you don't have to put that. Magic, yeah. they, they named each oh, season. No, I, Rob, I had the full title. Do I get it? Oh. <laughs> I, you, need I, points, I, you need two my points? My at the perfect age, so I watched a whole lot of My Little Pony. Uh, so so I, tell me, do you, know, do you know about the bronies? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Uh, I know about them. Weird. I don't get it. 
No, it's kind of weird. <laughs> so oh, yes. a little funny story when I Bob, talked to, to John Burger about did a, Bob's Burgers does a good parody of it. Bob's Burger. Oh. So when mm -hmm. I talked to John for the, my skeptical inquiry interview originally, and I, I was throwing out Wikipedia to him because I wanted to know what he thought of it and he could help edit his page. And you know. so I don't want to talk about Wikipedia. Wikipedia sucks. I went to my article and it had nothing but My Little Pony. Can you imagine your career boiled down to My <laughs> Little Pony? Because <laughs> <laughs> the My Little Pony fans are the ones that updated it. Yep, but it's been they, changed since then. They so, say okay. that uh, Wikipedia pages, the best Wikipedia pages are porn stars and Pokemon <gasps> characters because their fans are updating them. Good and job. Hey, be a Rob, combination but, of those two things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's scary. <laughs> Rob, could you please put the link to your talk uh, in here again for those few people who missed it? It was really true. My little porny. Oh, 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 best, no, oh, best of both worlds. That's, that's just oh, wrong. Oh, best of oh, both no, thank you. Oh, 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 you guys are clever. Why won't they give us a Netflix series? Domain name's already taken. <laughs> right let me let me first let me post the answers for yeah, susan because she likes that answer. yes answers are good answers are in order there and uh, while, while you're while susan's taking scores i'll go look for the link yeah okay that's good let me see i've misspelled something here hold on i am not a speller as you all know oh by the by, by the way on 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 i am so happy about this because I wanted to do John Proud, right? Like, you know, big Hollywood guy. You don't want him to come in and nobody to be there and nobody watch the videos. Of all the videos they have on Philadelphia, uh, such a critical thinking site, even ones that have been up for a year, uh, he has way so his uh, interview has way surpassed all of them. That's amazing. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. And plus, yeah. I was watching it this week. As people were going to his, they started watching the other ones. So Steve Novella's went from 40 to 104. Oh. Wonderful. Yeah. That's you really did a good. really good job promoting it too. That 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 helped a lot. So I will have you promote mine from now on. Okay, here we go. So let's go with our scores. Um team number one, which is taking out the laundry. How many points? That was uh Rob's team. Seven. Okay, we needed that bonus. Uh the pipe yeah. is blocked with human pulp. Eight. Okay. <clears throat> Politically correct, non-appropriative. Rain dancers. Seven. No bones day, so no team name. Nine. What? That team is not playing right. Nine. You know that you want to get low points in the first round so that you get the extra team member. Oh, yeah, right, nine. Yeah, yeah. Frankly, we've always held Steve Bannon in contempt. That's and what? Whoa. And <laughs> well, fine. How did you get 11? I gave you well, we had 11, but we're not allowed to say oh. <laughs> Okay, so um, very good. Seven, eight, seven, nine, ten. Well, I'm on the team that got seven. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> well, we're keeping track of what my scores are. On I'm, I, I'm not taking your advice anymore, uh, Susan. I'm sorry. I know I really screwed up. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, but Susan, <laughs> but you had a way more points those. than I had. I would have had one point. Oh, well, you got days of the life. I knew it was. That's the record. only one. <laughs> well, I might not have remembered. Okay. So yeah, there's this interview, you guys. It's got some good stuff in it. It's short enough that you can watch and, and, and not, you know, it's not like a, a seven and a half hour thing. Like I did on Monday. <laughs> I would have had zero points. My wife knew that, not me. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Plus, plus, plus spoiler. I, I got zapped by. Uh, hey, 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 don't continue. say anything. I don't. Oh, think it's a spoiler. Say, I don't think you should but say anything. All... Don't say anything. Just don't. How many I people can say it. they suggested an acting uh, thing with with uh, John Delancey? Rob, are and you he, in his character of Chewie he snapped you to the continuum? I thought that was the best. I don't think we should be talking about that because I enjoyed it. As it's not like it's Fight Club or anything, Susan. Anyway, so the very good job, Rob Palmer. And next up is Caspian. So where's Caspian? There he is right there. Unfortunately, Jamie's not here. Or the other Jamie, by the way. Oh. Okay. Our Jamies are gone. We're, we're, aunt, we're, Faith, we're Faith is oh, gone. Jamie-less. Faith, yeah, is, Faith gone. isn't feeling good. Mm. Gail's not here either. And Brandy, boy, there's a lot of people missing this week. Yeah, I was actually texting with Brandy. She had to work and she's still working. Okay. Adrian's not here either. 
<sighs> so Caspian. Or Julie or Kelly either. Yeah. Isabella. And Isabella. Isabella told me she wanted to talk to everybody, so she'll probably show up later. And Mono. And Mono. Yeah, yeah. he wasn't here last week, was he? Yeah, no. yeah he was here last week. Yeah, no, he was. wasn't. No. Oh, Aaron's okay. not here. Oh, okay, that's right. The week A lot of people. Sure. Aaron's been playing, watching Robert baseball. Saunders. Saunders said he couldn't make it. Oh, um, here comes Isabella. Speak of the devil. Huh? Oh, no, she says, I'm going to eat and then join. Priorities. Okay. Fantastic. Caspian, you've got your you got your point. You've got your things. Give us the categories. We can groan and moan about it. And then um, Leonard will do the do the muting. All right. Uh, you all remember some months ago how we no. did hair bands? <laughs> Specifically yeah. how we did it. No. No. <clears throat> I I wrote it, but I don't remember how I did it. You gave uh, everybody three releases from each oh. band and you had to name the band based on the releases. Oh yeah, I did Ooh. that. We are doing exactly the same format, but we're doing heavy metal bands. Oh, oh my God. God. Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, because I am not too cruel, I am going to give you a list with all of the options, oh. but with two red herrings. Oh, okay, that's better. Because if otherwise... Mm. Uh, Ready? Muting. Three, two, one. All right. Question one. Pull me under, awake, black clouds and silver linings. Question two. Flight of Icarus. Somewhere in time, the final frontier. Question three. And justice for all, until it sleeps, S and M. Question four. Inhuman rampage, through the fire and flames, Reaching into infinity. Question five. Screaming for vengeance. A touch of evil firepower. Question six. Ace of spades. No sleep till Hammersmith. Aftershock. Question seven. Bloody Kisses, October Rust, Everything Dies. Question eight, Scream Bloody Gore, Human Lack of Comprehension. Question nine, Master of Reality, Mob Rules, God is Dead. And question 10, cemetery gates, vulgar display of power, the great southern trend kill. I'm using the term LP to refer to full length albums, whether they were released on vinyl, cassette, or CD. I thought it was something about liquid petroleum, so well, thank you. And all of these charted which is why I chose them. Finally, here are your potential answers. Any questions? Are there any repeats? There are no repeats. Good question. Thank you for that information. OK. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to send us to our rooms, Caspian? Once I find the button. Okay. See you guys soon.
<laughs> I might know one of these. I hope it isn't the one I think I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mob Rules is one I think I know, which would be, um, let me look at the list again. So I think I know number two is um, Iron Maiden. Number two is Iron Maiden. I'm okay with that. Mob Rules, I think, is Metallic Metallica. I'm so not where's that? Sure. Which, which number? So I think number nine, question nine, is Metallica. Metallica. I think. And Leonard thinks question two is Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Yeah. I've never heard of typo negative. Um, Judas Priest. Which one of these is Judah Priest? I used to know a bunch of Judas Priest. Let's see. Could Judas Priest be number three? <clears throat> SM sounds familiar. <coughs> uh, I wouldn't recognize a Judas Priest song if it hit me in the face. Aftershock Ace of Spades. Black Sabbath. Of course we know some Black Sabbath, don't we? He didn't pick the, uh, the, the top albums, of course. No, and I did the same thing on the hair bands. I thought it'd be too easy, but now I realized that I probably should have had the more common ones. Let's see, put me under. Flight of Icarus somewhere. Put oh. question three, put um, my hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Too bad that uh, Faith isn't here. I bet you she would, she would be really good at this. Right. You think, you think three is Iron Maiden? Um, no, no, Flight of Vickers. No, no, right. No, two is there's a two is Iron Maiden. Yeah, three right. is something I've heard of before. It could be Motorhead or it could be. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one might be Black Sabbath because I would have heard of Black Sabbath. Let me see. Maybe, maybe six is Black Sabbath. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, you could pick whatever you want for whatever is left. Throw it uh, die if you want. <laughs> is number three Metallica? It's something I think I've heard of before. And I definitely heard Metallica. Do we already pick Metallica for something else? No, I don't think oh, so. Nine. We got nine for Metallica. Metallica. Mob rules. I swear I know that one. Um, you could put it for both. How about we put no. mob rules for uh, and number nine, put Black Sabbath? That you does know, sound familiar because uh, that's Ozzy Osbourne's old group. If you don't know and you use, you put the same band down for everything that you don't know. You're guaranteed one. No, you're actually we're not. No, but, because he said there are two ringers. Yeah, I would yeah. Put, put number nine yeah, is I mean, Black Sabbath. Yeah, mob number nine rules, should be Black Sabbath. That sounds like that Not sounds Metallica. like uh, Ozzy Osbourne's old group. Yeah. So nine, so nine, nine is Black Sabbath. So what do we put? Which uh, which of these? Um, what do we got? Black Sabbath, or do you want to leave Black Sabbath on six? Too, just in case? No, I think Hammersmith would be. Do we already have Motorhead? Nope, we haven't used Motorhead. Is that, is that a group? Yeah, put put six for Motorhead. Motorhead, okay. I know a lot of the music, but I I never really paid attention to the albums, you know, because once you get to a point where you just put everything on shuffle, I don't know what album they're on. 
right? It's not like we buy albums anymore. At least I don't. Um, okay, so what have we got? Got two, two is I two is Iron Maiden, six is Motorhead, and nine is Black Sabbath. Oh, I thought we had more than that. Um, oh, we changed them. What do we have for Metallica? I don't know what. We don't have Metallica for anything? No, I don't. Unless I missed. No, I didn't put I didn't put it down for anything. I didn't did we put do we have something for six? Six is motorhead. Okay. And we have something for nine, and we have something for two. Yeah. Iron Maiden. Okay, so number three, we don't have anything for? No. Put that for for the for a Metallica. Metallica? Yeah, S and M. And I have heard of Venom. Yeah. I've heard of Dream. No, I, I haven't heard of these other ones. Anthrax I've heard of. I just thought that was at, at Seas. Yeah, no, it, it was a group, remember? Because when Anthrax became like in the news, the I remember the, the heavy metal group was all upset. Because I think they weren't allowed to play in certain venues and stuff because people were like they didn't want people to say that Anthrax was going to be playing there and stuff. I remember. What? I remember that. I remember them being upset about the name being a plague and stuff or whatever it was. That sounds more like urban legend to me. No, I'm pretty sure it's true. Well, we'll find out when we get back to the main room. Uh -huh. So. So we have that for uh, for three. Anthrax. No. What we have for three, we have Metallica. Okay. Yeah. So when he said that there were some red herrings, were he saying there were red herrings of bands that don't exist, or weren't part of these albums? Because if if so, we could pick out what we think is not real. <laughs> no, I think I, I think he meant that there are bands that aren't related to these albums. I've never heard of Type O Negative There's extra or bands Pandera. in there. Hmm. Yeah, I've never heard of typo negative either, but that doesn't mean anything. Okay, so Venom definitely probably put it as something and put Halloween and Dragon Force and Anthrax and I mean I know Dream Theater is an out is a is a group. Is it? Yeah. Wow. I feel I... old. <laughs> I don't know this stuff. I mean, if the if the music didn't come out in the uh, you know by, by the mid '80s, I've never heard it. I, uh, I didn't. I, I didn't listen to it. I never cared for it. No? Thing, you ever watch uh, Venture Brothers? Who? Venture Brothers. Nope. Never heard of it. Well, the character hasn't has the Icarus tattoo, so it's from the album cover. So Iron Maiden sounds right for that. Oh, well, there you go. There's something. He has a tattoo of the Icarus from the album. I like hard categories like this. This is fun. There are three red herrings, he says, not two. Not that that's going to help us any. Are we, are we sure Venom's one? Venom is a group. Okay. I mean, do you think it's one that, well, a valid one rather than a red herring? I would put Venom for everything. And then if we got these four right, we'd get a five. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I mean, but I really, I mean, Anthrax, I know I for really sure. Don't. I would put Anthrax because I'm I, sure he's picked Anthrax. anthrax. Put Anthrax for everything. What do you guys think, James Leonard? I, I don't have a better su uh, suggestion. I think that's a good choice. It's a, it's a, we yeah. can here. I can change it. If, if, if within the time, if somebody says, "Oh, change number so and so to this," I will. Otherwise, no, I'm okay the, with that. The default position is anthrax. <laughs> it kind of fits, doesn't it? We'll just put. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's 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 um. You could say it's not sporting. You know, it's a it's a it's a strategy it's that kind we of a, to use. Yeah, it's a strategy. Uh, 
He goes, who did the one? He was all these stories about stuff that went wrong. And I said, I said, if you put true for all of them, I'll bet you get a pretty good score, and which is what we should have done. We would have got an eight instead of what we did get. Because <laughs> how many is he going to make up, right? right. Okay, I, I'm okay with that. You guys ready? Yep. Good job, guys. I have no idea how we did. <laughs> this is going to be. We we are definitely not getting zero. We're not getting zero. And we're not getting ten. Unless unless we screwed up and and one of the ones we picked did. I'm pretty somewhere. pretty sure we're not getting zero, and I guarantee we're not getting ten. We, we, the most we're going to be able to get is five, I think. Right. Okay. I believe well, that is good the job, case. you guys. Why do I always come back muted? That's the way it works. I don't like that. I'll have to change that. Okay. Ariadne, stop that. My goodness. You guys got back fast. Who's the metalhead? Uh, oh, we just gave up. Yeah, we surrendered. Very quickly. <laughs> I raised him. He's a metalhead because I raised him. And we, 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 we just gassed on a lot of them. Some of them, that was really hard. I don't know oh. the names of the albums. That was. That I, was I think tough. we got 10 on that one. No, you don't. And Janine had them all. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Who would have her as a metal as a metal check? It's amazing. Who knew? Metal Who knew I knew all that? She, Do you remember the was, song Metalhead? It's she uh, was throwing up death metal signs while we were in our oh, room. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it was crazy. I'm kind of disappointed Alice Cooper wasn't an available answer. Um, do you remember the song um <laughs> like a Karen, playing yeah. on Dr. Demento all the time about Metalhead? What was it? Uh, man, I, oh, I can't remember it now. I gotta write it down. I gotta look that. Down. I don't remember that either. It was on Doctor Demento all the time. I do have an album that I used to play all the time. That was uh, Doctor Demento songs. Doctor Demento's Mementos. <laughs> no, I don't think it was called that. You know That's what? Again, I, I don't pay any attention to the album name. You just put well, it on. He has one called Demento Demento's Mementos. I have that one. I've got the Christmas album. I have it, the one I have had fish heads on it. Remember fish? Yeah, the one I had had. Uh, heads, I bought it because it had holy poly fish heads. Eat them up, yum, yum. Because it had the rodeo song, and then they muted all the squares out of it. Oh well, forget that. Yeah, Hello, oh, kitty. It's forty below, and I don't give a bleep. I'm yeah, yeah. There, yeah. I heard there were fish heads. Okay, Susan, yep. who is HR Puffin Snuff? I assume that's Isabella. We'll find out. She wouldn't know that reference. Oh, come on. It's Isabella. Oh, she knows she everything. It's El Isabella. Don't, don't count that out. Just let them in. It could be one of my friends. Ooh. I think it's somebody who's uh, preparing to take an HR complaint. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be Most Isabella. Most likely a Californian. Let's see who it is. It's got to be Isabella. Isabella, is that you? Whoever HR puffing stuff is, they're muted. And their videos off. Oh, aha! No, that's All not right. Isabella. It's, it's Mike. Mike. Cool. It's, it's definitely not. That's definitely not Isabella. Definitely not Isabella. Mike for Halloween. <laughs> it's Mike in a new haircut. Well, he's got a new persona. If he's going to be HR Puff and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll see who gets Mike on their team. Okay, are you ready for the answers? Uh, too bad because Mike would have soared at these heavy metals groups. Heavy metals. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot of team. So many of them. Lead. Gold. Cadmium. <laughs> Triple cross. Lead. Uranium. Lead, you know. Uranium. Osmium. Right, Caspian. Osmium. Un unobtainium. 
I'm a team. <laughs> is that a medal? <laughs> I don't know. It's Nobody's ever been able to, to be. obtain it. So we Nobody's ever had it, so we don't know. Yeah. It exists in all states of matter simultaneously. Ah, well, no wonder. So mm -hmm. number one, pull me under, awake, black clouds and silver linings. That is dream theater. Oh, good guess. Yeah, that was our guest one, or one of our guest ones. Yeah, yeah. Like, like all the others, almost. Good answer. <laughs> like most of the others, anyway. <laughs> Question two, Flight of Icarus, Somewhere in Time, Final Frontier. That is Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know what we put you guys. You'll have to tell me if we did right. Got it. We got, I think we got it? that one. We got yeah. that one. I Question think Winner got that one. Three, and Justice for All, Until It Sleeps, s and that is Metallica. Yay. I think that what we Yay. put. Yay, Carl. Yeah. I think we put that. Question four in Human Rampage Through the Fire and Flames Reaching into Infinity is Dragon Force. Oh. Wow. Who got famous purely and rock band knowledge. Having a song in Guitar Hero. Yeah. That's mm. how <laughs> that's how Jeff got it. <laughs> <laughs> Question five, screening for vengeance, a touch of evil firepower is Judas Priest. Yay. Thank you, Janine. <laughs> Question six, Ace of Spades, no sleep till Hammersmith and Aftershock is Motorhead. <gasps> oh, I think that's what we put. That's, that's on one fire. Of I yeah. saw them on the young ones back in the, back in the day. They were great. <laughs> the young ones. Question seven, Bloody Kisses, October Rust, Everything Dies is Type O Negative. Oh, uh, I've never heard of them. How'd you know that, Janine? That's amazing. <laughs> we put, put anthrax in that one, too. Is that your blood type? Is that why? <laughs> the there. blood type, right? Question eight, Scream Bloody Gore, Human Lack of Comprehension is Death. Uh, oh. I've never heard of them either. Ooh, didn't even think that was a man. Who? And that's a stupid name for a band. What's the name? Which one? Yeah. Death. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Isn't that a stupid you can't get name? darker than that. Wow. That's true. Death. We're death. <laughs> Question nine. Master of reality, mob rules, God is dead, is Black Sabbath. Yeah. Ooh. I think we got that right. Yeah. All our guesses are right. Ooh. And no, question... those were guesses. Those were not guesses, Bob. Question 10. Cemetery Gates, vulgar display of power, the great southern trend kill is Pantera. Yay. Oh, we put anthrax. The red yeah. herrings are real bands. Yeah. In case anyone was curious that I made any of these up. No, and anthrax is one of the red herrings, I guess. Huh? Yep. Thanks, Kyle. Darn. Wow. Well, okay. Thank you, Janine. I would have got zero. <laughs> uh, ben, ben, Ben actually uh, was, a, was a sort of ringer for reasonable score it was leonard and i i think that knew the wow. ones we knew which is interesting pretty close to non-zero okay here we just go just barely <laughs> so let's go to the scores um let's try politically correct non-appropriate rain dancers first six yeah probably <laughs> Okay, taking out the laundry. Six, I think. <laughs> Somebody want to confirm that? Sorry, that's correct. Six. Okay. Sorry, I thought we correct. got seven. The inappropriate rain dancers. Um, Why do we have six? I, 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 the ones that we got wrong in my uh, tally <laughs> is one, two, and four. And eight. Eight's not anthrax? Correct. No. Never mind. Okay. Six. <laughs> the pipe None. is blocked with human pulp. Or I have a feeling I know who's going to get. No. And that was Caspian's team, just letting you know. Here comes Isabella. Uh, and no Bones Day, so no team name. Eight. Um. And Susan, I'm on that team, so can you move my name? You're on this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been at the last two times, so I think I'm staying there. <laughs> well, we're not letting her go, that's for sure. No. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, frankly, we've always been held, we've always held Steve Bannon in contempt. We've always held Steve. We've always held. <laughs> very, very surprised and impressed that we actually got six. 
Yay. Wow, good job. Awesome. So this means this team is missing somebody and this team is missing is the lowest score. And I'll be so, leaving. I'll be leaving. So yeah, we're gonna lose a, a body and have no. Okay, you're gonna lose. Avi's gonna go. He already and left. He already left. Avi left. Brian's gonna go. And so Brian Kirby's gonna left. So I'm gonna put. <laughs> but they're almost gonna leave. So we're gonna put uh, Mike Wolf here, and then we're gonna put Isabella here because no, well, they're the lowest score, but they're gonna have four people. Hmm. So one, two, three. Okay, so Brian's gonna be losing. So it'll be three people. Here will be. When, I mean, everybody's got at least four, so you can definitely, like, that makes yeah. sense. Okay, That's I'll true. put them on the lowest. Here's where we... Well, no, I'm leaving, so that leaves my team with three. Oh. One, uh -oh. two, three. Oh. Yeah, Brian's One, leaving. two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, you're right. So guess what? They get Isabella and Mike. One, two, three, yeah. Well, you're much better off now. <laughs> now look out for them. It depends on what the, what the questions are. I'm oh not even my ready. goodness. I made major moves at the, the trade deadline. deadline. <laughs> Good job, all. Okay, so we're going to take a five minute break. Wait, let's do a photo. Picture. Everybody, everybody spruce up. Hi, Isabella. And there's not Isabella. <laughs> I like to bear your H HR half and stuff. Okay, Turn Mike, forward. are you coming on the screen? Yeah. Oh, okay. Here I am. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm in a hotel room. That's why I was. Well, we don't need late. to. That's TMI. I need that. <laughs> Get on the screen. I'm visiting. I'm visiting my mom. It's her birthday. Oh, oh birthday, birthday to you, mom. Is your mom happy married? birthday to you, mom? No, no, she's she's home. Yeah, we went over her house for dinner. Kevin, and you're cracking me up. My face hurts. Hurry up and take the picture. <laughs> okay. picture. Get in the camera. Get in there. <laughs> Ready? Okay, hold on. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Ugh. My goodness. I like Brian Dunning managed to get here on the screen. That's nice. Potty break? Yes, take a potty break or whatever you need to do. Five minutes and we'll come back. Hey, I, don't, I don't want to miss Isabella's story. Isabella, we already yeah. started telling your story. So if you want to um, do it now would be You're good muted. Time. Okay, You're so basically, muted. what about now? Yeah, yeah you're good. Okay. You're good. So um, I, I was texting Susan today in my physiology lab. So basically what happened was, so my teacher, um, so I have a physiology lecture teacher and a physiology lab teacher. So they're two different teachers. So last week we went into class and the lecture teacher was there and he said, oh, well, someone in your class tested positive. And we never told who it was because they can't disclose names. That's so um, ridiculous. But then um, one of my friends who's in a different lab than I, who has the same lab teacher as me said, oh yeah, by the way, our lab teacher, she, 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 she said, oh, by the way, Amy, you know, Amy tested positive. And I was like, well, that's not surprising because she's, she walks around with like her mask, like right here. And then she cut out all of the like lining behind, like, you know, they have like the fabric masks and then there's like normally linings. She cut out all the linings. So it was literally just like a thin piece of fabric over her mouth. I'm like, okay, you're barely wearing a mask. It's not that surprising she, she got COVID. Turns out it was from her daughter who works at Hobby Lobby. Oh my God. <laughs> just gets, the story just gets worse and worse. Um, so she comes into class and she's like, so as you all know already, I'm the one that had COVID. And we're like, well, yeah, we already kind of assumed that because you don't this like to wear your mask. Yeah, this is my lab teacher. Um, wow. And then she had, she took off the mask and put on this like, face shield actually i'll send it to susan i took a picture because wow. i took a picture of the board but she was in the photo it was like this it was like this face shield that went around her neck but the, the thing only went up to like here like it barely covered her nose so i'm like that doesn't count and she's like oh i got approval from the like the chair the chairman of the board for oh, the bullshit. biology department frank sinatra like okay <laughs> um yeah so then throughout the lab she keeps she because we were learning about um oh my gosh what was Idiots? Lab on today no Isn't our lab laughing? well she kept weaving in it because every time she would talk bring it up i'd like text susan like oh my god she's bringing it up again <laughs> we were learning about where is it i have the lab over here somewhere um today we were learning about it was like 
how like it was with cellular respiration. So like how cells like repair themselves after being damaged. And she kept bringing up that she had COVID. And she kept weaving it into the lesson being like, oh, well, you know, you have this cell that knows how to repair, how knows how to like fix you. So really you don't need a vaccine because your cells already know how to do it. They're just like stupid. So you don't really need a vaccine. And then she kept weaving in, what did I say to you, Susan? This thing about zinc. Zinc, zinc water? Zinc and quinine. And zinc then, and, quinine. and then quinine. I thought you said garlic. No, yeah, she kept bringing up garlic. Then she kept bringing up zinc and quinine and how if you, if you do a hundred milliliters of, of quinine uh-huh. and zinc water, yeah, then it, you, so you put oh, the no. zinc and the quinine in the tonic water. Right. And then you somehow get magically get cured of COVID as well. And you also have to take garlic on top of that, tonic which was like quinine. totally bullshit. Um, Cause like, yeah, I, I looked it up and there was like a slight, there was like one, I think someone did like a thing that said, oh yeah, well, if you're sick with like a cold, it can be but like, supposedly do something but it hasn't been like scientifically proven so it's like one of those things that's supposed to work but doesn't um yeah and then she eventually brought up she's like well I don't understand why I need a booster because your cells should already know what to do because you already got the first shot so I think this the the, the booster shot is bullshit and I'm like oh my god you're not supposed to be giving your opinions first of all and then I I, Susan I didn't I record it and send it I played it I played it for people who shut up yeah no, you're like what? No, it was it was total bullshit. Um, and then you I emailed this was this isn't a teacher who's trying to teach you guys how to think critically, and it was all a hoax, and she was just messing around with no, you. No, no, no. But then I sent Susan her like bio. Yeah, and Rob it says, read it out. <laughs> oh yeah, greetings. My name is Amy. I have the great pleasure of being your lab instructor. I've taught at Chico. I enjoy being the natural. I enjoy being in the natural environment by reading and doing science through hiking, biking, fishing, and camping. My greatest earthly treasures are my family, my five children, and my three granddaughters. I find solitude in tending to my patio garden, experiencing music, and reading the Holy Scripture. And then the whole thing about how my faith entwines my love of science, biology, and medicine. Bullshit. This is one oh, of your te- this is one of your teachers. This yeah. is her lab teacher. Yeah. Yeah. No, no I wrote an email to department chair, and then my. Um, my my uh, course professor and I don't think he likes her very much either so what happens I don't know I'll probably get a response tomorrow and do you think other people are going to complain too the girl next to me looked really pissed off well did you call the police on her <laughs> <laughs> I, I was almost going to say Isabella. call the police I was kind of freaked out to be honest um, be, being an idiot is not illegal <sighs> yeah mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and then she like because we were using microscopes to look at like um, to look Small at blood, to look at blood cells <laughs> under a microscope, and she's like, "Oh, let let me look under the microscope," and she like got closely wearing this like dinky mask, and I was like, "Get the hell away from me! It, don't touch my microscope!" And I'm like rubbing it down with like the alcohol prep wipes I have in my bag, and I'm like putting hands and hands over hand. She's like you know, I'm not contagious, right? It's only, she's like, I've only had it. She's like, I got over it like two days ago. And I'm like, <laughs> just get away from me. Hey, two days ago. That's not. It's supposed to be 10 days. Oh no. Yeah. It... You, you say got over it, but you didn't, no. you, you haven't gotten tested again. No, and you? I was wearing two masks and I got tested afterwards. And I was no, like, no, I mean, your teacher. Oh like, yeah, did, no. she, did she have she a negative test tested. to come back it's... to work? Apparently. To do? It's supposed to, was she out for 10 days? It's supposed to be 10 days after your last symptoms before you can go So back. we had our midterm, like we had our midterm on the eight on this on the fifth of October. Apparently she started experiencing symptoms on like the ninth on Saturday. Hmm. And then I guess she took a negative, she tested negative. She tested positive, I think, on the 12th. Did so, you test positive, Isabella? No. Okay. She's been. I, she's Isabella's got her booster and she's got two no, masks and a face shield and she's. she's I'm like, and, uh, and some uh, religious wacko professor of yours tested positive. Sorry, I'm multitasking here. Oh yeah, no, some <laughs> religious nut job. And of course, my mom's like, you have to tell the 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 professor. And I'm like, yeah, I know I have to tell the course professor. I already did because it was kind of weird. And a bunch of other people in class got really uncomfortable when she when she was getting up next to us. Yeah, it's it's the, the physiology and the it's her profession that's bizarre. Well, her 
her, her beliefs bio are bio. yeah it's it happens like, all the time but like i know plenty, bio... i've known plenty of doctors who go and get chiropractic like yeah they're doctors they should know better but yeah no, and her excuse was that because one of the receptor cells we have in the body i guess it, like it obviously like it learns how to fight the virus which we all know is true because of what the evidence shows from the vaccine but she was saying that you don't need a booster because your body already knows it i'm like well, what if you're old what if your body just doesn't know what if your body's like doesn't work and i asked that and she's like well then you she's like well then that sucks for you because the booster is like bullshit and i was like okay well that's your that's so your is this time that's, against uh, the university called, policy called it is, the and she's course. already broken a ton of other like I'm giving bad like, medical rules. advice to students so she's, she's already broken or like tons given of, giving any medical yeah. advice to students. So she's already like broken tons of like just like basic lab rules. Like she doesn't check to make sure we're in closed to toed shoes in our lab class because we actually have to change into our scrubs for our lab class. And some people come walk in in like flip flops, which you're not supposed to because it's a sterilized lab environment. So I'm always in like tennis shoes or Vans, and that's fine. But then mm -hmm. some people aren't wearing their aren't wearing their protective glasses. We are like dissecting stuff and looking at like live like you know viruses and cells. And she doesn't check that. She lets us drink water in the class and lets she lets some people eat food in the class, which you're not supposed to do. And so she already breaks mm -hmm. like basic lab rules. So I don't think she'll be lasting very long. <laughs> nice. wow. Yeah. So super fun. That was my day today. And then it's been raining all day, so I've been loving that too. And this is an <laughs> this is an institute of higher education. <laughs> yeah my alma mater i love all my other teachers like she's nice <laughs> but oh yeah and then she kept us an extra hour and a half for our lab because she kept talking about her stupid vaccine and how she doesn't believe in the vaccine so then i made up an excuse that i had a, that i had an appointment and i just left early did you tell them that you don't have to believe in vaccines it's not a belief system it's an evidence-based system <laughs> <laughs> i would but the problem yeah. is she controls my grade yeah. Which is all the more oh. reason the woman's got to go because we can't because that's a person with a power you know he has she yeah. has power over you and like I asked her a few questions and she looked kind of like ticked off that I had even like questioned her. Um, you didn't say like, so I didn't realize that you also have a degree in biology. And Bi virology. Bi and biology. I was sitting there like what the hell am I listening to? And then a couple other people in the class were like looking at each other like what the heck? And then she kept us over our time which she's not supposed to do because like literally both her, she and us signed a contract saying we wouldn't take like basically the contract says like, you're not supposed to owe, like take advantage of the student's time or the professor's time. And she kept us for over an hour after our lab was supposed to have ended. Maybe what? you're being tested. And if you report them, you get an egg. Yeah. Isabella, that's the kind of stuff you can get her on, not the vaccine things, but just yeah. everyone who agrees with you about all the yeah. work breaking. That's how you're going to get her. Because when we had our um, our lecture professor teach last week, he was very good about making sure he was staying on topic, making sure we fully understood what we were doing in our lab, made sure that, because he said to us, he's like, look, I don't want to take, take your time away that can be used for other things, like taking care of your mental health, taking care of your schoolwork. He said, that's not my job. My job is to educate you, you know, and not take away your time. But he's a really good teacher. But this lady is obviously nuts. <laughs> wow. Well, right. I know you will take care of her. And yes, next week, we want to hear a report of how she is gone now. I will, for sure. <laughs> I'm very curious what's going to happen with that. Did you get any, by any chance, anything new in your... Um... No, I haven't. Oh, I did you guys. My mom bought rain boots for me, but that was, well, she ordered rain boots today for me because it's nice. getting like... Post the address right again. Okay. Put your address in here. Okay, so let's see. I have um, a couple things to mention. Oh, uh, uh, Robin, do they ever decide if you're going to be in charge of the a a um, homeowner association? HLA? Yes, I am they elected. Are, they all. <laughs> <laughs> they will. They will. <laughs> the day when Robin. Uh, look out! The HOA. Look out! My oh, multitasking right wow. now is I'm writing an email to Christine Kemp, who was representing us um, on this parcel Q thing, and uh she was at the meeting tonight but it was again the old board just has broken every rule in the book they're not the board anymore they according to all the rules the davis sterling act and so on they the old board doesn't exist anymore they're gone and yet they held a meeting tonight <laughs> they're just these power hungry Jeez. little shits 
A farewell and party. Isn't that illegal? So how yes, do you really they, feel about it? Everything they have done since day one has been illegal. So what I'm hearing is we sue them. <laughs> <laughs> Call the police. <laughs> Call the police, Isabel. We'll take care of that part. Well, okay. we have made a police report about our stolen yard signs. <gasps> oh yeah, that and, was a And drama. I saw in the paper that they're reconsidering the the uh, home up on the hill that they were going to put in there. And maybe oh, yes, yeah. yes. Apparently, what's happened is uh, Tony Lombardo, the biggest asshole in Monterey County. We're recording um, this. Lombardo. Is, Lombardo is uh, replacing his old ridiculous development uh, proposal with something a little more reasonable, 30 houses. Uh, well, you, so, always, you always negotiate down. You know, the opinions I mean, presented in this YouTube video are not necessarily those of About Time, which is a nonprofit organization. <laughs> <laughs> or of robert palmer who is the Baldwin skeptic okay good job i'm so glad to hear that we want to hear the power coming out of your yeah um i wanted to ask uh, uh romero are you there where is romero he's muted and oh, he's muted. okay i'll ask him in a minute um and I, carl i got something dunning was here carl yeah you have anything to say about dunning being at your well, it's passed. I know. How was it? Dunning, Dun yeah. Brian Dunning was in St. Louis for Skeptics in the Pub, where he aired the oh, first cool. cut of Science Friction and then did a little QA afterwards. Was it the final version? Uh, Ish. Pretty much, un unless they make further changes. He did He did say something about playing the wrong file. So, like, there were some yeah. intros that were played twice. Yeah. They're, they're, other they're, than that, it was pretty yeah. final. It was pretty much the final cut, except there was one error in it. We played yeah. a very early version at Psycon. Yeah. Icon. Did, did you see that too? Yeah, I saw yeah. that. So, there, so there a, did, did you notice a lot of differences? Uh, there was a lot of uh, extra stuff in it, uh, COVID related stuff. Oh, good. Inserted. Oh, that exactly. makes sense that they added that because, yeah, yeah. before they originally was made before this happened. Yeah. yeah. Romero, yeah. You, you also had a visit with Denning? Yes. And uh, yeah, we they did. also looked better uh, because the whole thing was properly color graded, like what we saw at Psycon. Romero? Yeah, he came to uh, to rally to the Triangle Skeptics, and we just hang out, and he talked about his NPR. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Stuff. Oh, the podcast is going yeah. to NPR, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. And um, uh, we just hang around and he told us about uh, his show and that was it Had is, is Dunning driving around the country flying from yes, he is yeah. driving all by himself in a Tesla wow using I autopilot know, very interesting I think amazing. <laughs> um, okay. Kyle Polish hey, hey yeah this week on data skeptic talking to yet another researcher about time series this guy has the idea that uh, things don't need to be complex. He fa focuses on fast and frugal time series, what he calls it. We get into the mathematics of what that means this week on Data Skeptic. So is this about time travel? Uh, yes, but only in the forward direction. <laughs> <laughs> like time? Like, the, like, like actual time? Like actually time? Like we're all time traveling right now? Like <laughs> I'm going one second the per dimension. second. Well, and we're all slightly different because it does depend on your altitude, right? And your bandwidth. It rounds out to a second per second. <laughs> a scale of one <laughs> on one. Okay. Remember the, the videos of the friend of mine who was at uh, January 6th thing? Yeah. Yes. Friend. He got arrested. Loose, loose word. He got arrested. Yay. Uh -oh. He's in big trouble. And how does he feel about that? Has he said? I don't know. I haven't talked to him. I, he disappeared off Facebook and I just yeah. searched Google. <laughs> And he got arrested in May. And uh, I think there's a hundred thousand dollar fine up to three years in jail. He's facing charges. And he's probably saying just for stuff. stepping foot into the building. He did nothing else but walk in. Probably said, okay. Why did I record video of myself breaking the law? <laughs> he was making all these videos outside, and then he walked in and someone got a picture of him. He was identified. And he's in big trouble. God, well, frankly, a lot of people there thought the government was going to be gone. And, you know. Yeah. Was, oh, yeah. Was, they thought that they were doing it was, yeah. it was okay. So. And he showed up in court without a mask. <laughs> he's the only one. All the lawyers had masks. He's just, he's lost it. 
Oh, geez. And that's that's saying exactly what's going on. They've lost it. Um, so Richard Saunders isn't here, but I can say that he recorded a nice video with me on um, the GSW project on Monday hit 100 million page views, which is freaking crazy. We talked about you, um, Kyle, uh, on, about uh, the I step adder a few times that got mentioned on the, I did seven and a half hours of YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, Facebook Live. I just turned the camera on and I just went. And Mark was giving me the stink eye, like, why are you still on there? I could have gone a lot longer than that. It was so much fun. I interviewed a lot of people. Rob got interviewed. Richard Saunders got interviewed. Several of my other editors got interviewed. And I have, I'm trying to cut the video up. I just put up uh, Richard Saunders interview part and uh, the part where Rob is getting interviewed. And it was a lot of fun, but a hundred million page views was a lot. That's a big deal for us. Took us two I watched, to do it. I watched Rob and then the guy after him, the Spanish guy. Mm -hmm. He was interesting too. Well, that was fascinating. I, yeah, I've interfaced with him on, on uh, Facebook, but I didn't have no idea what he looked like or you know, it was kind of cool to him? see him talk in person. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. You guys and the Portuguese guy too. Seen. I've got a bunch of people on there that you didn't get to see. April Hoy was on there. Yeah, I watched, um, I watched all of them. Um, I watched all seven hours, God help me. <laughs> seven, I I seven and a half hours. I was multitasking, so I was doing other things while I was listening, mostly listening. Okay, and the last thing I need to tell you is Skeptic Cal is this weekend. It is going to be massive. We have spent a lot of time working on this. Let me tell you guys, I have. It's it's been a blast. We've got some huge, wonderful, exciting talks. If you miss this, I don't know how you're going to miss it. If you can't make it, just get the ticket anyway. It's twenty bucks, and then you can come and uh, watch the videos afterwards because the videos are going to be available for people for six months and then they'll be released for free so you have to have bought a ticket if you want to see them in the next within six months and we've got paul offit we've got uh, elizabeth loftus we've got brett marie hermes we have ross blotcher on how to start a cult maria konakovia who's like an expert on on uh poker right now thomas westbrook rachel dunlap from the australian skeptics who is a uh living in uh uh, Wyoming, and she's doing some stuff with, I think, Alzheimer's right now. Uh, research, really interesting. And then, did I forget somebody? Thomas Westbrook. Oh, and we recorded Skepperty just before this. I was on <coughs> uh, George Rob. George Rob. <coughs> the little George Rob's uh, uh, voodoo things I made. And then also with Thomas Westbrook from Holy Kool Aid. It's really Kool Aid. You can hear it. So there's Thomas Westbrook, and so I was on I was the third person, and I did Skepperty with them, and it was a freaking blast. So we recorded it already. I can't tell you what happens. You got to watch it. It's on Sunday. And the other thing I want to mention is that we're going to have trivia again. So you're going to get two rounds of trivia this week. So Saturday we're doing trivia just like this, except I'm running it all. It's all skeptic, uh, skeptic related, but that shouldn't, you know, if you're not really into Hi. that world or whatever. It's I'm, a I'm in a, um, another meeting. Mute I'm, yourself, I'm doing Robin. My Thursday night trivia. Robin, mute yourself. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm being told. <laughs> I'm being told to mute myself. So uh, <laughs> like, she's like, I am the HOH person. I'm going to take the oh, HOA person. I can take the so, power's gone to her head. Yeah, I know. So if you guys want to go to trivia, it is not the link that we always play trivia on. You have to go to the SkepticalCon link I just put in the chat. It's free. You just register, and then you will get the link to um, to go to trivia. But it's going to be run mainly this way. We should have people we've never seen before who play. So you all have to be nice because we want to. Susan, I have a question about Skeptical. Um, can I advertise that in our meetup groups? We would appreciate it if you would do that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, I put please. it on our Facebook Please, uh, everybody. Page, but I'll justice. throw it into our meetups. Yeah. We okay. badly need you guys to advertise it because it's on, it starts okay. tomorrow night. We're having skeptic, uh, uh, social uh, skeptics in the pub, and I'm going to be helping with that. And that's free also, but you have to register. So to get the so link. So when I go to the link that they gave us after we register, I think that just came into me today. Uh -huh. Does that give the social events yes. too? Yes. 
Okay. You should have the okay. social event links on the email that was given to you. And then anybody else who wants to, doesn't want to go to the lectures, but wants to do trivia or the skeptics in the pub or both, they're free. You just have to register to get the link. They give me your email and that kind of stuff. But man, look at this. This is a really big deal. We've spent a lot of time working on it and we really would appreciate if you'd promote it on your Facebook feeds and social media and also show up. Adrian's not going to be able to attend, but she says she's going to, she's going to watch the video. She's already paid for it. And she's the one who looked over all my trivia questions. So they've been vetted by Adrian and her husband and her son, and they enjoyed the trivia questions I gave and she made some nice suggestions. So anyway, that's it. We're ready to start back up again. Karen's going to go. Your evening. Thanks, Brian. Take care, Brian. Hey, watch Thanks, Brian. Go tonight, you know, dreaming, you know. Think yeah. positive thoughts before you go to sleep. Yeah, that'll help. Danny no here I come. No seashells. <laughs> okay, so Karen, I've given you your powers fun. already. Okay. So we be ready. Wonderful. The category is, let me find chat on this other device. The category is trivial facts about reptiles. Oh, okay. Hey. okay. So those of you who um, know me will not be surprised about what I'm going to post right here, okay. which is... You're muted, Karen. Unmute yourself, Karen. I didn't hear okay. what interest countdown. Today, October 21st is National Reptile Awareness Day. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, I keep saying whenever I know it's your turn that I should look and see what the day is. But so I knew like there was a, a reason. It's a Donald Trump thing. I, no, it's I knew there was a reason. Reptile Awareness Day. No, I knew there was a reason I saw a lizard running around today. There you go. The That's opinions good. presented in this YouTube video are not necessarily <laughs> those of the about time. Else. The purpose of National Reptile Awareness Day is to promote education, conservation, and appreciation for reptiles. Please match the following numbered descriptions to the lettered reptiles. One lettered item in the answer um, is uh, one lettered item is the answer to two of the numbered descriptions. And these answers are according to the World Wide Wildlife Federation. And I'll give you a link uh, later to um, when we go over the matches that I am seeking. Okay. So back to the exit, to the page here. Okay, so first I'll give you the list of critters. So that way, if you're thinking about, you can match up some as, as you get the descriptions. Okay, back to here. And I think this will work this time. Okay. So uh, the reptiles from which you may choose are these. A, reticulate, uh, reticulated pythons, B, leatherback sea turtles, C, leaf chameleons of Madagascar, D, green sea turtles, E, aldabra tortoises, F, shingleback skinks. <laughs> it sounds like an insult. Uh, G, green iguanas, H, crocodiles, and I, alligators. All righty. So, number one. About this critter. Oh, <laughs> what is that? Someone's blowing their nose, I hope. I thought it might be a buzz. Oh, that's my husband. <laughs> uh, why is everybody not muted? No. Okay. Because it's more fun. Well, it's more fun. clearly Robin wasn't. Okay. Number one description. Uh, this these reptiles share nesting areas with as many as hundreds of others of their type and uh, construct complex burrow systems that are continuously improved upon. Number two, these reptiles are the fastest reaching speeds of 22 miles per hour. Ooh. Who knew? Okay. Number three, with these reptiles, the youngsters stay very close to, stay close to their mother and they form social groups. They follow her wherever she goes, 
hop on her head to bask and follow her uh, around on land like little ducklings. When in distress, they call out for her, bringing her to their aid, and they stay with their protective mother for up to two years after being born. Number four, this, these reptiles are known to be the heaviest, weighing in at about, oops, enter, uh, at 1,900 pounds. Number five, um, shortly before hatching, a baby calls its mother to the nest and begins vocalizing to synchronize the hatching of the other siblings. Isn't that something? Synchronize the hatching of the other siblings. Um, number six, this one is known to be the longest at 32 feet. Or these are because I've, they're all plural. Um, number seven. Can I have, I'm gonna forget to ask this later. Can I ask it now on number five? Who, who uh, shortly before hatching, a baby calls his mother and begins, is that the mother vocalizing or the baby vocalizing? Um, the, the, uh, the, I, believe the ba I believe the baby is vocalizing. However, you can figure that out in your group. If there is a reptile that only the mother vocalizes and you have a different answer for the reptile when the babies vocalize, uh, you guys can debate that. But I believe it's the baby. But I don't know. I'll look that up while you while you guys are okay. And number seven. So this one, uh, these are most often monogamous. And again, all of these are to a lot of these are to show the um, complexity that a lot of people don't think that reptiles have. They that they attribute only to um, you know mammals and other critters so seven uh most often uh these are these reptiles are monogamous and once coupled they mate every breeding season for as long as 20 years oh i don't know how many times uh they mate but they stay together number eight uh this these reptiles have community nurseries where one mother watches over the hatchlings of many others. They have excellent communication skills using body language and sounds, and they even vibrate to make the water dance. Uh, and they produce sounds that humans cannot hear. That is number eight. Two more to go here. Uh, this one is known, these are known to be the longest, uh, the reptiles with the longest lifespan. And that is over 150 years they can, live. And finally, um, this reptile is the smallest reptile measuring one inch from nose to tail. One inch from nose to tail. Okay, any questions? Yes. Yes. One, Aaron, a, one lettered item is the answer to two. Of, that doesn't mean that's true of all yeah. of them. You literally mean only one time, right? Correct. On one instance. So okay. there are nine there are nine lettered okay. items. One of those will be used twice. Thank you. Thank okay. you for clarifying. Sense. Hey, Karen, hey. do you mind if I post a slightly easier formatted version of the answers? I do not care if you improve upon this. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. So what happened to me before, Jeff, actually yeah. every time before, was that my the letters and it didn't uh, the sorting letters did not appear so I tried this. Totally fine. Yeah, it was just a like. Thank you. you. Know, I'm on a full laptop. I have plenty of. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, I have tools for doing this. So. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Fantastic, boy! I love this group. We get stuff that is completely different from the other person, and it is wild. <laughs> From heavy metal to reptiles. There you go. John Delancey from Star Trek. Okay. Okay. Go to your rooms. Have fun. Do you want to do you want to send us to the rooms or do you want me to do it? Oh, I guess you're doing it. You're gone. <laughs> Leonard's doing it. Somebody's doing it. I didn't do I it. did it. I did it. Good I don't you. have a room yet. I have um, a nothing set to a room. Okay, I will send you to Mike and get a room. room. I've been forgotten about. No, you haven't been forgotten. No one likes. <laughs> 
gonna go here. Susan doesn't love me anymore. Hold on. I just yes, yes you have been assigned. I can't. Yay. Thank See, you. the thing is, is I can't put you in the room until the things are open. So there. Robin is going to go multitasker as she is. Room she, three. Room three. All right. That's where I'm going. See you guys in a little bit. Hey. Have fun. Is this the room I'm supposed to be in? Yep. Yes. Okay. Getting Welcome. Scared. Welcome to the rain dancing room. Mm hmm. So let's see. The first question, let's start with the first. Share nesting areas with as many as hundreds of others of their type and construct complex burrow systems. Um, well, hundreds of others. I mean, that sounds like one of the tortoises, like a green sea tortoise, green sea turtle, but um, complex burrow systems that are continuously improved upon. I don't think that sounds like a sea turtle because sea turtles usually come up on the beach, lay their eggs and leave. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Um, I'm thinking that um, the turtles have to do with the the eggs and the hatching and the uh, yeah. so the questions regarding you know eggs and mothers and babies vocalizing to me those are turtles. Yeah. Okay, so we have green sea turtles. Could that be it? No, I I don't think it is complex burrows what the, the burrowing complex? yeah complex burrows does anybody know what a shingleback skinks is that was... it's a, just a little tiny lizard oh so maybe that's the smallest yeah i think I so the chameleon is let's the let's move on let's chameleon move is on smaller than a skink yeah the fastest reaching speeds of 22 miles per hour could that be a python i, I was thinking be. that yeah i mean what Especially else for like the like I thought the python part. would be the yeah. longest. Really? Oh. Uh, well, what would be really fast? A crocodile? Crocodile Wait, could be pretty fast. Longest. I'm longest thinking the iguana or the croc or the. No, elk. iguanas are not fast. Or okay. python could be the one that's used twice. It Maybe could be. Sea turtle in like swimming really fast. No, so sea turtles do not swim fast. I think the speed is going to come down to like the Python because of the attack, right? Like with the last minute, it's like a real yeah. fast thing. Yes. A, a Python could certainly attack like this and then, yeah. you know. Yeah, but um, it's miles per hour though. He's not yeah. running a marathon. He's just doing a sprint. Right. Crocodile, same thing though. Crocodile can, you know. Yeah. I can't see a crocodile lunge. going that fast. Uh, let's go with Python for number two. Wait, number two? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So for now, youngsters. working title to the mother. Okay. Youngsters stay close to their mother and form social groups. They follow her whenever she wherever she goes, hop on her head to bask, and follow her around on land like little ducklings. When in distress, they call for her, bringing her to their aid. They stay with their protective mother for up to two years. That's a hard one. I don't know. Mm. Maybe next question. The heaviest. Who would be a crocodile? Alligator? Yeah, I think it's the leatherback. No, no. I think huh? it's the leatherback sea turtle. A, a turtle. Yeah. yeah leatherback. leatherback sea turtle sounds like a heavy one. Before having it, if you've ever seen one, it's a very large animal. And so the, the longest we're going to say the python also? Yeah, I think that's right. Like that's the most confident Python answer. Okay, so if we have the Python used twice, then everything else that means use once. once will be once. So what else? Okay, longest lifespan. That's a turtle too, isn't it? Pretty sure, yeah. The, oh, it's the tortoises. But did you skip ahead? Isn't the next one monogamous? Well, I was thinking the ones that were kind of obvious. That oh, were, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. so that we would see what's left over to pick for the ones that are kind of hard. Turtles are live a long time. I know I that. I think tortoises are longer than turtles, but okay. I don't, I'm not. Yeah, there is yeah. a tortoise on here somewhere. Right? Yeah, it's called the, the Aldabra tortoise. The Aldabra. Yeah. I don't know where Aldabra is, but 
Um, the Harry you Potter, know, the Galapagos. Abracadabra. Yeah, the, the tortoises is number nine. And then the smallest. I think is the. Shingle box. Again. An inch from nose number to tail. Number five, the vocalizing is by the baby hatching. He's not the mother. I think the shingleback skink is going to be the tiniest one. What right. did you say? I thought it was the chameleon. I, I, it could be the leaf chameleon. Of, like tiny, really tiny. That sounds small, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, a, a regular leaf. chameleon is, you know, this big. But a leaf but chameleon has to fit on chameleon? a leaf. Um, if, you, if you think it's leaf chameleon, we can put that. Uh, well, then the that herd. would free up the... Uh, um, the one you were just saying, which one was it? The iguanas? And what do you think the iguana goes with? Yeah, so that frees up the green iguanas. So we've got nesting areas. <laughs> uh, the number three, youngsters stay close to the mothers. And number five, the baby calls to its mother. Number seven, which is the monogamous one. Eight, the community nurseries. So those are our leftovers, right? Uh-huh. So what happens? And I've seen videos. Uh-huh. I've seen videos where an alligator uh, makes the water vibrate on their backs. Uh, which which answer maybe, was that? Maybe eight for alligator. Sounds good to me. Okay. I'm happy with that. So, okay, so we have seven, five, three, and one. Seven, five, three, and one. So that's four. So what are the four we're not using yet? Maybe the skinks. Um, maybe the skinks are monogamous. And what are the other three that we're not using? The green sea turtles. And the crocodiles. And one more. Isn't there one more? Iguanas. 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 Oh, the iguanas. Okay, which one do you guys feel most confident about of those four? I have to go back. <laughs> I was like, none. <laughs> um, Okay, crocodiles, we don't have a place for them, right? Did you say we don't have, we haven't used crocodiles? We haven't. Okay, which one is the most likely for the crocodiles? I think number three is the crocodile. That the youngsters stay with hop her. Hop on her head. But do uh -huh. they hop? She used the word hop. Um, I think they do. Number three, I think it's crocs. Number five. Shortly before hatching. So we're, we're putting the crocodile. Yeah. So I think I'm, I think that the number five must be the skinks. Okay. I, I don't even know what a skink was before this. Yeah, I thought it was a dirty up. word. So I. It's a little lizard. Usually they have like different colored tails. So like if you see one with a blue tail, that might be a skink. Okay, so now that leaves what and what? Okay, number seven. We're going by process of elimination. Monogamous. Once coupled, they mate every breeding season for as long as 20 years. So these things live at least 20 years. One is. I think that, that would be green be. sea turtles. Okay. I know turtles have a long life. Do iguanas have long lives? I think they do. No, I, have a friend that has no, an I think they probably lived 10 years or something. I don't, I don't know. For like 15 years that I know of. I doubt they're monogamous. Number one. Could that be, could that be, is that more likely to be an iguana or a sea turtle? Number one. Well, what's, what's left? We that's just what's have left. Well, that's left. The only one left was the. Maybe the iguanas are one then because the uh, burrowing. Yeah. That, that's feeling right to me. I'm, 
I have a vision now in my head of an iguana just clawing the crap out of dirt. Okay. And then that would make sea turtles monogamous? Yes. It's yes, best I their think business. Sea turtles. Yeah. <laughs> That's a private business. Okay. Who wants to read them out to see if we got them? Yeah. Somebody. I'm so confused. Okay. I'm not volunteering because I, think... I don't have them written down. Romero, you got them? I think one is it one is iguana, two is the python, three is the crocodile, uh, four is the leatherback, five, what did we say? That was the skink. The skunk, skink. Six is the pipe the leatherback. I have the leatherback twice. I thought we I have the, the python, python twice. Yeah, six so is six is Python. Yeah, Python. Oh, okay. So four, yeah, and then uh, seven is the green turtle. Eight is alligator. Nine is the algebra tortoise, and then ten is the chameleon. The leaf one. Yeah. I'm happy with that. What do you guys think? Works for me. We'll find out. Romero, are you okay with that? I'm fine with it. All right. Good job, guys. All this reptiles and no mention of David Icke. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody should name a reptile after him, him and Trump. <laughs> Bye, guys. Are we the first ones up? <laughs> I like that line from the big chill. Jeff oh, right? I've never seen that. Oh, God. So Jeff Goldblum, uh, they're partying. These group of people are partying into the night. And the next morning, there's a long scene where everybody gets up, everybody makes breakfast, everybody, you know, cycles in and out of the kitchen and then kind of leaves the house to go on their merry way. And then Jeff Goldblum gets up and he he's with this one other person and he, and he looks around and he goes, are we the first ones up? <laughs> This is like an hour after everyone else has left the oh, house. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, Karen, are you there? Karen's only partly here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who's, who's running, who's, Carl's last, who's, who's doing the next category? Is it Jeff? Oh yeah, I guess it's Jeff. All right. It's like a blur. Oh. Does anybody understand what the pipe is blocked with human pulp means? Because I don't know what they're talking about. 
No, I don't know. I looked it up. What is it? There's a it's like a, a movie reference. Um, any what movie? Is that like the one that Greek has Quarter Mass uh, Two? Oh, Quatermass. Okay, that's why. Quatermass. Yeah, that's why Mark would like it. I would know. He loves Quatermass. What's Quatermass? It was the precursor to um, Doctor Who. So if you what? like Doctor Who and you want to know the history of Doctor Who, you watch Quatermass. Quatermass, the Wait. people in Quatermass were the people who were going to design um, Doctor Who. And I think the guy who was Quatermass said, I am not do doing a children's science fiction show. So he didn't want to do Doctor Who. So Quatermass, there's like five movies. It's a mad scientist and he encounters all these things and stuff. It's they're, I've seen them all. They're fine. I mean, they're a little dated, but they're good. How do you spell this thing? Mark is right here. Mark. Yes. So, mass, so the, like a, one like of the, and the mass. team names tonight is called yeah. That Pipe is Blocked with Human Pulp. And yeah. they said Mark will know the reference. And oh, I, I know and, what it is. And so Kyle I, asked. I even mentioned it to somebody just the other day. Who was it who was with us? I don't know, but Kyle was asking. He's never heard of Quatermass, and he was. I said it's You've a precursor. Never heard of. I said Quatermass? it's a precursor no. to um, oh my like God. God. to Doctor Who. Quatermass was was uh, the progenitor of Doctor Who. And what? Yeah. And what was written by Nigel Neal? Was originally a Quatermass. <clears throat> Quatermass. It was a TV series. It was on BBC, and it. Scared the hell out of everybody in England for many, uh, many months. And uh, then it was Hammer Films made three films about it. <clears throat> but the scariest one is the first one that I ever saw is called Quatermass 2, Enemy from Space. We, we need more time to review what our actual final answers are. Okay. Oh, well, does that no, mean you don't okay. want to hear where no, that, pulp, that pipe is block, blocked with human that pulp? Was a, came that was from? their team name. So they Quater ahead, mass Karen. to half mass. No, quater <laughs> mass. Send everybody. Good. I just did. Thank Wait, you. Whoops. Don't worry. Go ahead and talk, Mark. Oh, so I just looked that up. So I was, that was like 10 years before Doctor Who. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. Lambert. That's Can someone got, put it in the chat? The I don't know how it's spelled. She got the idea from it's Nigel quarter Neal, mass who, who wrote the one quarter S. mass series. Or two S's, two S's actually. And they're really quarter good. I think they're superior S. in every way. Like the coin and the religious good. ceremony together. Oh, one word. What? Religious ceremony, a mass. Quarter mass. Oh, he's explaining how to spell the word. Yeah. Oh, yeah, quarter mass. Well, quarter or mass quarter? Hit quarter mass two, quarter mass one, quarter mass four. They're the number all, part all. I was good on. It was the word I was. Is it quater like equator or quarter like money? Quater like equator. Thank you. It's in the chat. Okay. So all these Doctor <clears throat> Who fans that are all on this social media uh, trivia thing, and they're all Doctor Who fans, have never heard. A lot of them haven't heard of Quater Mass. This sounds like a shot. tenuous connection. No, wait a minute. I, I'm no, confused. It's not a tenuous connection. <laughs> I am looking at a movie Quater Mass and the Pit. Yeah, is this it, not is the same not thing? A, it is not. It's spelled a, with Q U A R T. Whoever you are, but uh, <laughs> no, it's anything but tenuous. Anything but tenuous. He's a little passionate about if it. If you do a little research on it, you'll find out that, other than the fact that, that the only reason Nigel Neal did not go into writing Doctor Who is famous is because he said, I don't want to write children's television. Okay, I'm not arguing with you. I don't know anything about it, but the spelling everywhere I see has got an R in it. So. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Wait a minute. That's I put a link to the Wikipedia article. I have never seen it with an R in it. Quarter mass. Quarter no, mass do without an R. Like the first R is wrong. And go down to the S. fourth entry on that page, Rob. The page yeah. you're on had it. There, there we go. go. That way. Quater mass. Bernard. Well, the Quater second one mass. is the series. The Quater mass is the name of the protagonist, apparently. That is correct. I have to look into it. I haven't ever heard of this. Oh, you'll you'll enjoy it, especially if you can get a hold of the original BBC serial. Because, oh man! And then when Hammer took it over, they upped the ante on the the queasy parts of it and made it really, oh. really disturbing. So somebody in this team, Leonard, James, Bob, or Caspian, is the one that came up with the team name. 
That pipe is blocked with human pulp. What pipe is that from? That's from Quatermass too. Oh, okay. You want to hear what what it happens? No, no. Yeah. Because they want to watch it. Spoiler. 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 I'll Spoiler. never watch it. You can say whatever you want. All right. I'm gonna mute. Never I'm gonna, watch it. Boy, yeah, I'm gonna that mute. I'm not listening. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's yeah. relatively short. It's four. It's four fifty-four minute episodes. So well. The best thing to do is start off with the movies. And if you like the movies, then you'll like the serials because the serials are long and involved. Mm. But if you if you want to start with the one that got me first started was Quatermass 2. I was around 14 years old and I was at my parents' house and they weren't they were out for the night. I turned the TV on around 11:30, and it was about three quarters of the way through the film and it scared the hell out of me and I still love it to this day I'll watch it any day so whatever for, for whatever that's worth it's uh it's good stuff Check it out. thank you I'm sure Leonard's seen Quatermass no no well who was it I've on seen your the TV? movie Quatermass in the pit you've seen that yes I've heard the um, the um, Goon Show episode. Uh, oh maybe. yeah, yeah. So who That's was it who picked the name for your team? If you hadn't heard of this, Quatermass in the Pit explains all magic. I thought yeah. I thought Quatermass was when you only go to church every three months. Only <laughs> 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 oh, All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's I'm Quaker right. Mass. Well, oh, Quaker. Ah. Quaker no. plus Catholic combination. Get it? Yeah. Okay, are we all back? I guess we are all back. Okay, great. I'm going to mute you for a second here if I figure out how to do that. Mute all. There's something very important that um, call with the K. Uh, reminded me when I went to the room something I and it if it affects your scores we'll figure it out later I neglected to make the distinction between alligators how do you distinguish alligators from crocodiles and of course many of you know this already but I'll remind you one you will see later and one you will see in a while that is the difference between crocs and and gators so if it influences your score, we will take that. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification. Okay. All yeah. right. Good. 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 That, that helped I'm a lot. I'm going to claim two points because <laughs> that affected our score. <laughs> okay. So number one, who are these critters that share their nesting areas with hundreds of their type? Why that would be G, the green iguanas. And what about the fast? Oh my gosh. Yeah. And what about the fastest reaching speeds of 22 miles per hour? Some of you will be surprised by this answer, which is D, green sea turtles. What? 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 I have to mute myself to say, up. what? Sorry, Kevin. Okay. I know they swim. <laughs> I have wow. seen hundreds, if not thousands, of green sea turtles in the Pacific Ocean, and I've never seen one go more than one mile an hour. You need, <laughs> you need a time. Can you watch Seeing Nemo? And they get into that told they're all those guys going through the current there. They need more motivation. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah, just going that's, down that's to take a look at you. Right? It was the fast. school bus on not finding turtles. Nemo. Well, I, mean, I didn't go to that bus. website, but when I go fastest reptiles, it shows green iguana and then leatherback sea turtle. And okay, then another well, one. This, th these are according to the World Wildlife Federation page link that I'm going to give you. And that's upon which that that's what I'm basing the answers on. So number three, the youngsters stay close to their moms. They form social groups. Uh, they get on her back like the little ducklings and so forth. The answer to that one is I, alligators. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you knew that. Good. Okay, so now we come to the heaviest, weigh, weighing nearly a ton, 1,900 pounds, over 1,900 pounds. Who are these critters? They are bee, leatherback turtles. Leatherback. No. 
-hmm. Okay, well, that website is wrong. Okay, so we <laughs> want to, so, okay, so, so. I, I thought it was a leatherback. I've seen leatherbacks, they're huge. So it's whatever but Karen had on the website. Heavy too. Crocodiles are the largest. Are freaking product. huge. Well, this is thousand pounds. So these answers are according to the World Wildlife Federation. We she can made that very clear. We can correct them on this, um, but that's the source I'm using. How the heck they know 1,900 pounds? Why 1,900? If, if they're going to say over 1,900, why don't they say nearly? I'm looking up right here. Saltwater crocodile is largest is uh, uh, 4,400 pounds. There we go. Wow. And leatherback sea turtles, the biggest is uh, just over 2,000 pounds. Apparently, that organization you're looking at isn't funded well enough to get their data right. <laughs> yeah, they need, they need more money. How okay. will this affect your score then? Isabella's teacher. Well, they screwed rules. up our score because they give false information. Okay, so which, <laughs> which, ones, which ones did that affect? We said crocodile for the heaviest. Yeah. We, we said crocodile. crocodile. We found, I found two sites that say the crocodile is the heaviest. If you have a source that has confirmed that, we will give that point to people that gave the answer I'm looking for and your confirmed information, which sounds substantially larger. And someone mm -hmm. needs to write a message to the world, uh, to the- uh, <laughs> Sounds like it's on your plate, Karen. World Animal Federation. <laughs> no, I think it's Pella. The World Animal Wikipedia Federation. Wikipedia says the world's largest <laughs> is the saltwater. Think, no, Wikipedia. think of this as not- <laughs> If Paula <laughs> wants the points, she has to write the letter. Yeah, that's right. Think, think of this as I'll not do a it. Okay, I'll do it. What number am I on? I'm sorry. I f what number am I on? Number one, next one is five. On number five. Okay, number five. Okay, great. So we had leatherback turtles to much delight of the players. Uh, mm -hmm. Number five. Uh, shortly before hatching, they call off vocalizing, synchronizing the hatching. That is. I as well, alligators. I hope wow. that's what we put. <laughs> that is what we put. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, great. So let me get down here. Okay, so um, go ahead and give yourself points for the largest ones for whether you said leatherback turtles mm. or your other answer. Okay, mm. so number mm. six, the longest at 32 feet. That I assume that's the python. Hey, you Karen. are correct. A. Crocodile, crocodiles also call out before hatching. A, reticulated pythons. We're going with what's on her website. Not necessarily. We already made one correction. No, no we can. Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to contradict Susan, but if you. <laughs> <laughs> but you will. What else is new? <laughs> but if you have a confirmed, uh, a confirmation that, that says that for the. Um, Crocodiles, the crocodiles also do that. Okay. And we'll write a letter to the World Animal Foundation. I think they let all their interns put their information on the web. There you go. Oh, we'll, have, a, we'll have a collective. As as teacher wrote it. We'll say according to social media. <laughs> <laughs> and she prayed on the answers to put them down. No, I totally should. According though. to social trivia by Susan, okay, we have go. determined yeah. that your answers are wrong. So we're going back to the most monogamous. I love, I love the sound of these. Dogs. The mo most monogamous one. Now, for me, because of what this name sounds like, I'm most surprised by this one. The most monogamous of reptiles is F, the shingleback skinks. Wow. Yay! <laughs> Horrible name. Okay, so Skink. then we're getting to the community of the nurseries with watching over the. Um, all the hatchlings and uh, and doing that little water dance that people can't hear. That is H crocodiles. Oh. Alligators do that too. Though. All right, we'll give you a point if you know that to be true. Okay, so number nine with um, the longest lifespan at one hundred and fifty years. That is. E, the Aldabra tortoises. That yes. makes sense. Do you remember where uh, where they are? What's with, what's with the Aldabra? Um, I do not. Okay. Um, okay, now 10, the smallest. Come on, everybody got this one. The smallest one is C, the leaf chameleons. Yay! Yay. I think we got that right. We okay. thought it was the skinks because we never the heard skinks, of them. Those little frisky skinks. Okay. 
this is the link so people can uh, write and just uh, <laughs> rip, up, rip apart their, uh... there you go. Okay, but thank you. So those of you who know uh, for sure and you've checked out the sources that crocodiles also do that vocalizing, give yourself a point for that. And yeah. same thing with uh, uh, the 4,000, I don't know, the, the large alligators. Crocodiles. Num crocodile. Yeah, number four, crocodile is also a correct answer. Okay, yeah. there we go. Cool. There we go. Thank you, Karen. Oh, yeah. And Thank Rob, you. the Aldabra <laughs> giant tortoise is from the Seychelles Islands. Thank from you. From Aldabra Atoll in the Seychelles. Ah, that's where the name is. They're comes very from. popular pets, but you have to have a lot of space. Because they're they're one of the, I think they're the second largest tortoise in the world, second or third. It, it, they're way up there. Well, whatever yeah. you do, don't ask the World Animal Foundation. No, I wouldn't ask them anything. I wouldn't ask them to spell <laughs> okay, the word animal. Anybody, just screw them. Just screw them. <laughs> <laughs> Never mention their name again. <laughs> the end. Thank you, Karen. Yay, Karen. Good job, Karen. Fascinating facts about reptiles. Okay. I remember when the World Wrestling Federation tried to sue them for the name, and then it turns out that they had WWF uh, earlier. So that's why this is, WWF this is the, the World, World Wrestling Animal Federation Foundation. had to change their name. Yeah, <laughs> this is the World Wildlife. This is World Animal. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, hey, but yes, I job. also remember that. Ah, here we are. So let's do our score, score, scores. So team with 12 points. That pipe is blocked with human pulp is? Five. Okay. And taking out the laundry? Four. I get a concurrence from the team on that? Yep, four. Politically correct, non-appropriative rain dancers? Six. Ooh, we did good. Well, better. I don't know. Here. Okay, so frankly, we've always helped Steve Bannon in contempt. <laughs> the final adjusted is five. And no bone day, so no team name. I got seven. Woo! Wow. Nice. Wow, a team got seven. All right. So I know it's my kinks. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Very good, Karen. Thank you for making it different. <laughs> good category. I didn't know anything about those reptiles, but I think we made some good educated guesses though on some of them. Okay, so um, our last category for the evening is going to be Jeff, which is somewhere on my screen. I'm sure I can find him. Oh my God, oh, there you are. It's amazing how you guys get reorganized and just mixed up all the time. Now, you have to right. stop pushing the scramble button. I guess. <laughs> it's when we go out and come back in, it's always different. Okay. Jeff. So, my category. Your dog. I heard you like trivia. So my category is trivia about trivia. So you can enjoy trivia trivia. I know. So muting, meta. Muting Very in meta. three, two, one. Unmute yourself, Jeff. So is it trivia or is it rapping? A rapper? <laughs> no, this is, is trivia about trivia. Oh, so um, specifically trivia games. Oh. So um, I wrote two questions about five different trivia games. And um they are as follows so question number one in what year was trivial pursuit first released Ooh. plus or minus five years question number two which of the following isn't one of the six categories from the classic version of trivial pursuit geography people history arts and literature, science and nature, or sports and leisure? Question number three. Our next two questions are about Jeopardy. 
Alex Trebek has the honor of holding the record for the most game show episodes hosted by the same presenter. Which of the following is the closest to the actual number of episodes of Jeopardy he hosted? A, 2,000, B, 4,000, C, 8,000, or D, 16,000? And question number four. In 2011, what question answering computer system, which is according to Wikipedia's terminology, beat out Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter on Jeopardy? Question number five. How many questions do you have to answer to win the jackpot in the original Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And question number six, who is the current host of Who Wants to Be a, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Question number seven. What was the original amount of money in the original 1978 release of the blank dollar pyramid? Question number eight. In 2009, what country got their own version of the show from question seven named El Haram locally? Hint, it's on brand. Question number nine. The Price is Right became the longest running game show as of 1990. Um, what uh, what game show was the previous record holder? Sorry, I changed the wording a couple of times, so my grammar is slightly off there. And question number 10. Bob Barker famously ended episodes of The Private's Price is Right with an 11 word public service announcement about what? <laughs> and the bonus is Get question 10 verbatim. Because he used exactly the same wordings every single show for tens of years. So there's a specific wording for it. And that's it. Those are going to be good. I am I know some of these. You're going to be pleased, Jeff, that I'm on your team. Unless, of course, they all know them, too. Well, very I good. Hope, I hope some people know some of these. Who's going to, you're going to send us to our rooms, Jeff? It's funny how I, I named all the teams and now they're all gone, different names. Interesting. <gasps> okay. Okay. Do you want to get the easy ones first? I know number two is people. That wasn't a category in Trivial Pursuit. Yeah. Well, let me look at the questions better. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't think people was a category either. Yeah, I don't remember people being in there ever. But no. Yeah, the later games, I think it is. Is it? Um, I've got a bunch of them, and I think you're right. Geography definitely was... History, no, was uh, arts and literature, science and nature, sports, sports yeah, and nature, for sure. So it's got to be people. Yeah. Okay, what's the other easy ones? When when was it first released? So I know I have a game called the 80th edition. And that was after it came out. So it was other edition. The master's edition was, it must have been the 70s somewhere. Mm, Why yeah. did you release an 80s edition? Yeah, we had, we probably we still have it, like one of the original ones, but I haven't looked at it in a long time. Yeah, I, I know I have it. It must not have been too much after the, well, the 80s one edition obviously came out in like 1990, right? Mm, yeah, probably. How so about, I would like say 78, 79? Yeah. How, 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 many, how much many years do we have as a leeway? Five. 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 So say yeah, 70 or 79 sounds good. Yeah. 
That's 278. Huh? Yeah, that covers a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't remember remember playing in high school, but I do know that it was, I know there was an 80s edition. So I don't watch uh, Jeopardy. So I don't know about this, but I think it's too short. I should know because he's like Canadian, right? He was the host yeah. for over 30 <laughs> years. He was the host for over 30 years. So we got to try and figure that out. How many times a week did they have twice. that show? Twice a week? Wait, they recorded twice a week, right? Yep. Well, that's right. that, but that, didn't they? Yeah. Did, wasn't that, it on every it evening? Multiple, I thought it was every evening. I think it was on ever. every evening. So, but that, but the seasons well, they didn't like they had reruns during part of the year too, but, especially uh, yeah. way back. Right. So, what were the options? Uh, two thousand, four thousand, eight thousand, or sixteen thousand. So let's just think: thirty years, right? Mm -hmm. Times what would you what like a hundred and what? Like half of a year. Well, there's maybe. half. There's 52 weeks in a year. Right, but so, I mean, how many days? If they did it every day, but there would three be months. five five days a week. Okay, five days a week. Oh, five but days. only for like half a year. No way. I think. They ran it five days a week. I think yeah, I'm pretty night. sure. Was so, it on on Saturdays and Sundays as well? No, no, no I, I don't think it was on five days a week. I thought it was just on one day a week. Mm -mm. No. I think it was okay. on like every evening at like seven. Okay, months. so that okay, so say it was like in six months, if it was five days a week, that's like thirty times five. Five is a hundred and fifty. So Forty-five times six is around seven thousand something, right? Seven hundred something. Wait. So you're saying seven hundred a year, and then times thirty. That would be okay. Two thousand. I think. I think the sixteen thousand might not be that crazy, but I. I don't know that. I don't know if it ran for, you know, like half a year and then just. Well, went okay, I mean, yeah. back in the you know early days, they didn't. Have, they didn't. Have, they shows only went like well i don't know about game shows though they may have, they may have just kept going <laughs> i was i'm thinking of like the you know the serial shows i think it might be the third option i don't i think that other one might be an outlier yeah I, that's what i wrote down but it just seemed like it was really really high that well was... that's number three okay 22 Question answering computer system. We're going with 8,000. I, I remember this one. It was Watson. It was oh, Watson? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or was it blue? Big blue, blue was the chess one. It wasn't yeah. blue. Big blue was the chess one. Okay. Yeah. That beat uh, Kasparov or Karpov, I forget. Yeah, Gary Kasparov. Yeah. yeah. Um, how many questions do you have to answer to win the jackpot? Oh, I just lost original. my original. I do not remember. I remember the name, the name of the show. I never watched it. I think I saw like maybe a rerun of it or something somewhere. How because I mean, how would you? It would be hard to know that because that doesn't happen on one episode. It, the person would have to come back week after week. No, I thought it was one episode to win the million, wasn't it? No, they wouldn't. They would. They would drag it out. Oh, I don't know. I would say if it was one episode, it would probably be like twelve questions. And they just got increasingly more and more difficult. Because they don't give out a million every every episode. <laughs> well, I don't think they give it out very often yeah. at all. Yeah. I thought it was that they just made this it. This one like, doesn't have a plus or minus, right? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. No plus or minus. And I, I, I've seen the show like many years ago. So I don't know why, but the number 20 came to mind right away. But I have no idea why. Like if that seems like way too many, then. No, it doesn't sound. I don't know. I mean, there's that whole thing, 20 questions, right? Right. So. So maybe who is the current host of Who Wins to Be a Billionaire? I have no idea. I didn't even know it was still on. So. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> well, yeah, because I didn't I didn't really watch it. I'm trying to think of if I've heard any names because it Regis Philbin was. He wasn't the original one or was he? But he's not it anymore, of course. Hmm. 
Okay, so number seven. You know what is it? That somebody who's about to be called out for doing something bad. <laughs> is it the no, sixty-four thousand no, 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 no. dollar pyramid? Wasn't it the five thousand dollar pyramid? I mean, so I thought it was sixty-four thousand, but that's, that's the sixty-four thousand. That was the original one, though. Well, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I know. I, to, I did like. Maybe it was show. a fifty thousand dollar pyramid. I used to 10, watch it all the time. It was 10,000. 10,000 came to my what is, mind. What is that? Why. Is that about the host? No. Are we, the next are we one. answering how much money? Okay, but sorry, what do we have for five and six? Uh, 20 for five, and we don't have an answer for or, six. 20? But Paula said 12. What, Paula, how no, I didn't, did I didn't give it. I didn't give an amount for that one. I, I have, well, I have, I, I have 20. <laughs> Uh, what was question six again? <clears throat> Who, Who was the, the current host? host? Oh, Whoopi Goldberg? I knew it was Regis Philbin, but he's not the current host, so I got to think about if I've heard anything in the news. Because I don't watch it. Okay, let's go back to that. Then. We'll go back the original that amount? Well, it Are wasn't 50000 because that was a lot of money. And so maybe it was 5000 I think it's ten, but I don't $10? know. $10,000? That sounds reasonable. There was a show called that's Egypt. There was a yeah, there was it's got to be Egypt. Yeah, there was, yeah, there was a show brand. called um, uh, the sixty four. That was a question. The sixty four thousand dollars. Sixty four thousand dollar question. That's yeah. that's where I get sixty four out. Of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the money has to be enough for people to go. Ooh, that's a lot. I want to do that. You know, and five thousand. You know. I don't know. That's 1978. That's yeah. The Price is Right became the longest running game show in 1990. What's what game show was the previous record holder? Probably it, would it have been one of those older ones like uh, What's My Line or To Match Tell the Game Truth? or Wheel of Fortune? Matt. Hmm. hmm. I remember my favorite one was Concentration, but it hasn't been on for a long time. Passport. <laughs> What's my line? Match game. What was the one where they were in little boxes? That, that um, was uh, Lynn. Was Hollywood on Squares. It. Hollywood Squares. Yeah, that was I, so I, fun. I liked that show. I didn't know who any of those people. <laughs> but I don't think that was on. No, I don't no, know. That I think it's the longest before 1990. No, I don't think that's the answer. I just like that show though. <laughs> I think it's Will of Fortune because. Yeah, that's if it's, if if Price is Right is currently the longest running. Did you any yeah. of you guys ever watch Queen for a Day? No. Oh, uh, no, I've heard about it. That sounds horrible. <laughs> I used to watch it when we were when we got had to stay home sick. That was the only thing that was on. <laughs> is that British? No, this one wasn't. This oh, and then there's yeah. Do we know what Rob? Oh, Bob, Bob Barker, Barker was said, like, oh, yes, help head protection. spayed and neutered or something. Yeah, like yeah. That, let me, let me yeah. write that. See if it's 11 words. I'm glad he, he said 11 words. Let me write it. What was the one that, um, that Geritol was the um, sponsor for? Yeah, that definitely can't be the longest running one because it ended after that scandal. Didn't what, it? Which one? The, which, whatever which... game show that was. Okay, I've got it. Um, with the okay, scandal me, by the it, fixing. It's 11 words, right? Help yeah. protect the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. That's okay. How about words. control? Yes. Help control yes, the yes. pet population. Help control the pet population? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. That's 11 words. Sounds good to me. Oh my I, gosh, I can agree. you believe that is my claim to fame to be able to know that? I've never <laughs> even heard that. <laughs> the things we, oh yeah, I loved Bob Barker. Oh my gosh, he was fantastic. I actually went to see, I did a taping. With I was on stage, but my husband and I went to Price is Right. And those people are fanatics. They show up at four, three in the morning and line up these people. 
And they get it. We, we don't have an answer for number nine, I don't think. And also six. I thought we were going to put Wheel of Fortune on nine. Is, but Paula was wondering about something there. Well, Wheel of Fortune is um, super long. It has been around a long time. So if Price is Right is has taken over Wheel of Fortune, then I think it's, it's Wheel of Fortune yeah, where she she spins the thing, right? Oh, yeah. you don't know what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It used to be Vanna yeah. White. Is Vanna, she, yeah, there you is go. It, she's still it's there? still her. I saw it the other day. I was like, <laughs> she's still doing it. Yeah, she's still. All <laughs> the only time I watched that show was before it. cable oh, became a thing, and I, that was the only thing on TV when I was home. Right. Okay. Hey, Jeff, fun, what's up? Yeah, fun bit of trivia fact that I found while looking this up: Wheel of Fortune has always been Pat Sajak and Vanna White. Yeah. Yes. Wow. The entire run. Yes, I believe it. And I remember, I don't remember who it was, but there's somebody I knew who used to always say, so let's see what Ben is wearing tonight. Oh, yeah. She was always oh, dressed so cool. Can you imagine how many clothes that that would be after all these years? Well, they, they, they yeah. No. It's all they, sponsored by whatever designer yeah. or whatever, right? Right. They don't yeah. see them. She's always got something to wear then. Okay, so what's the one? Okay, so we got that pick, for. So we need them to pick the host. Yeah, yeah. Host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Currently, I think it was a. Is it a man? I or think woman? it's a nighttime host that they they picked. Oh. What is Drew Carey doing? Isn't there like a Drew Carey person who does something? Not anymore. I'm wondering. Me. I'm trying to. God, I'm trying to remember. Shit. Um, Bill Cosby. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> OJ Simpson. Susan. <laughs> you guys have been busy. This is this is being recorded, right? <laughs> yeah. With you here. Uh, yeah. Who wants to be? I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna say Kimmel. Of... I'm gonna say Kimmel. I think I think that's what Jimmy, I heard. Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy. Yeah. Kimmel? Oh come oh. on, really? And then he's got busy. another name. I, I wouldn't know, but as good a name as any. It's I'm not, not Jay Leno, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is he still alive? Mm -hmm. uh, Jay Leno? I think so. Yeah. Is he yes. the dude with the cars? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We saw him in um, New Year's one year in LA. And I liked, you know, when when okay. they used to publish his jokes like in the paper, like here's what he said last night. I always thought really? that was really funny. Oh no, no. But when I listened to him, the they weren't but, his jokes. They were what his writers wrote. Well whatever, but <laughs> I never thought he delivered them very well. The few times oh, I watched I him, I was great. just like, oh, I didn't like him very much. We didn't, I didn't care. I know this is a show, show and I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> and then Mark says, he's been doing that same show with the same words for years. <laughs> so, oh, oh. Same lines. I still like Carson better. Well, okay. Yeah. Tony Carson's dead, right? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty well, good. Letterman's still alive, but he's not okay, I guess, right? You just no. Letterman, Letterman when he had his own show was pretty pretty good because they weren't given proper money so they went all crazy which is great I I don't know any of that stuff because I never stayed up that late I know I don't I've never stayed up I that had late children either. and I couldn't or I was doing so I was in college that's it I was in college and I was raising kids and I was intrigued by all of that when I first got married and we had a tv it was all new so I you know had a kid and I was watching daytime TV and nighttime TV. And I was like, what is this? It's garbage. So I just, I That's was like, garbage. I don't know what people see in this stuff. So yeah. MTV was the thing much. that got me. When MTV came out in the early 80s, my husband and I stayed, I think we called in, called in sick for work. MTV, that's it. music, no? It was. I know it used to be. When it, it first came be. out, it was videos. And it was like the same, they had like 18 videos. And we watched all day and night for a couple for several days it was like wow this is amazing look at these these are bands and they're playing and there's things happening in this video oh we were just like what the heck is this and somewhere i have a vhs cassette that remember I the fashion the shows those were fine fashion shows 49 Oh, I, did. Yeah, I like I coming, coming back, back and hearing I movies. I like. I thought that was visually a gorgeous movie, yeah, but I thought yeah. it was best described 
as a um, video effects sample reel. What was it? <laughs> I can see that. Because it, it had no story. It was it was just this random, random stuff thrown together that looked really good. And it sounded good. Yeah. What is what was it? Well, it was the movie that it, it took more than two thousand times to get right. No, the what name movie of it. are we talking about? Blade, Blade Runner, Runner twenty forty nine. Oh, Blade Runner. See, we came oh, in in the middle it. of your conversation and we didn't know. Yeah, I would I, actually I, I argue understood. that my son is Blade Runner being my favorite ever film. That the sequel was a better film, though I did not like it as much. What? Right? How does that make sense? Because thinking about it and having watched it many times. The original Blade Runner is a deeply flawed film. But it has Rutger Hauer in it. I agree with Caspian. It's one of those I saw late and everybody talked it up all the time. And I said, why the hell has this got to the reputation it has? Well, which, which version of it did you see? Like <laughs> yes. so many, I saw I've many versions of, of it. <laughs> I saw the one Caspian showed me. On the 10th anniversary, I saw the director's cut. Well, you got to remember, it was at the time that it was out you know that's what was in you know and mm. i actually watched it the week before the the sequel came out because that's why i watched it because i wanted to go see the new one some movies right. you have to watch when they're made because they don't age yeah that is true <laughs> yeah 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 go, yeah go go look at the uh oh god what the hell is the name of it uh total recall the original oh god yeah oh it's it's unwatchable like it. well that's a great movie like but it was a great movie when I saw it the first time. Yeah. It's a it's great movie to time. remember and not watch again. Yeah. If I ever get a self-driving car, I'm going to call it Johnny Cap just for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jane, your right. cars. Answers. Okay. Question number one. When did P Trivial Pursuit come out? 1981. Oh. Yay. We got it. We're fine. Yeah. We're, we're any, time, any year between 1976 and 1986 are valid. We nice. were very close. Oh. We were we were pretty good. We have all the sets. I think I think I have every Trivial Pursuit set ever made. I, I have a faulty thing. memory. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. Um, I heard a couple of teams seem to be going down the right tracks. I didn't see whether or not they actually ended up in the right place. But the answer is B. People. It's actually Yay. a thing. Yay, good job, yeah. team category name. It's a what? It's actually entertainment. The that's the actual category that I replaced. Ah, uh, so yeah, people. people was never there. People is wrong. Soil and green is people. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had to say it. Did that one age well? I haven't seen that in like thirty years. <laughs> I've never seen it. Okay, number three. C around eight thousand episodes. No, oh, wow. actually somewhere it was, it was somewhere above eighty two hundred, but wow. no one could agree on exactly how many more than eighty two hundred it was. Wow. So most sites said either between eight thousand and eighty three hundred. As the Susan, was that the one we picked? I thought so. I don't know what we picked. That, that's I mean, what I wrote down. Kyle, okay, good. Okay, number four. Of course, this this was kind of a gimme, Watson. I would have put some people write I would have put the blue. Also fine. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, you knew what that was. I would have put the other thing. How, how about <laughs> our our robot overlords? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so um, number five, um, the number of questions you had to get right in order to win, who wants to be a millionaire? is 15. Oh. Oh. I will also accept 14 because for a very short stint, like for, for a period of like three or four years, they did switch to a 14 question format, but it's always been 15 or 14. Ramiro had it. Darn it. Number six, I, I heard some people say, oh, it's a late night host. You're not wrong because it's Jimmy Kimmel. Oh my oh, God! I'm Paula, sorry. Good I said job. All right. All right, so all right, Paula. I do. Who is Meredith? Wait, who whose daughter was Meredith Vera? I thought it was Meredith. That, our team had that too. That's it weird. It was for a little while, but oh. recently it switched out again, and it is now Jimmy Kimmel. Oh. I didn't even think the Jimmy show Kimmel was still around. Shows. So. I thought Jimmy yeah. Kimmel was busy doing something else. <laughs> I mean, he's doing many things. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> the number so. seven I saw most people got. Of course, it's the ten thousand dollar pyramid. That's right. Good All job, right. Deborah. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Number now. eight, I saw plenty of people reason out. Of course, Egypt. Yeah. Uh, a version that was a of, gimme. of pyramid. That was so, quite a gimme. Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, I don't think I actually heard anybody get the right answer, but maybe somebody did. Maybe I just wasn't in the room. Um, the answer is, what's my line? Oh, oh you know, I, I said it, said it said that. They beat the record. I didn't say it with yeah. that course. Sorry, It did come up in conversation. Yeah, we, we mentioned it. <laughs> that, but several one of the ones we considered. Mm -hmm. Finally, number 10, I have to say, gotcha. watching people answer the bonus was the most fun watching going into people's rooms and watching people debate the wording. It was just great. Um, help control the pet population, have your pet spayed or neutered. Help control the pet population, have your pet spayed or neutered is exactly what I said. Susan got it, word for Susan word. Susan got it, word for word. Nice. Well, wow. I had, I had so, a different yeah. word instead of control, but Paula said it's mm -hmm. cool. So obviously in for number 10, the three key words that I would have wanted to hear are pets and then spayed and or neutered. Like you needed to have pets and spayed and or neutered. Yeah, he said it the same every time. Yep. Exactly. And people would come on stage and they say, and they'd say it themselves. They'd say, I want to say. <laughs> so the funny thing is that it's actually really like if you're part of animal like rescue foundations, it had a huge effect. It really did change a lot about pet populations in the United States. And today, like the number of stray cats and dogs on the streets is notably lower than in many, many countries, partly due to this effort, partly due to an effort of saying, we're gonna actively spay and neuter our pet populations. And so- well, Jeff, to make you know, sure you yeah. get the point if you got the gist of it with the key words you mentioned. Yep, you, and get, you get a get bonus point long. if you got the wording. Thank you. Yep, exactly. Spayed, spayed and neuter does kind of imply pets. I hope so. Well, you have to yeah. say the word pet. Hey, I had every word. You're, you know, you're not taking this away from me, you guys. I had every word. So, <laughs> and that's what it said. Hey, Susan. There you go. I rarely that, get it. Susan, that right. gives us the bonus. That's Are what you that you watching gives. a little too much there, uh, Susan? I love that show. I even was on the show. I'm not on the show, but I went to a taping and we watched it. And that is, there are fanatics that go to those yeah. things. There's people who go to every freaking taping they line up at four in the morning yep it was yeah. nuts no, it's a I've, different what, studio now that studio that nbc studio closed and they moved it so i used to see them hanging out there on my way to work oh it's so much fun they in the waiting line because of course they don't start taping till like eight so you're sitting there in the waiting line and they're having a flipping blast everybody's having a good time and well they have to they won't get picked unless they're like crazy people in line those, well, those they, are the people that get picked they bring you up and then you have to you have like 10 seconds to say something about yourself and that 10 seconds is and they choose who they're going to pick by going on there but there's people who go every taping and they're there knowing fully well they're not going to be picked you also can't have anything on your shirt like this advertising and yeah. you have to say your real name so if your real name it, whatever your first name is on your identification card, that is your name on your on your um, on the ticket thing they put on your thing. It was really interesting, but the set is really worn out. I mean, you're looking at it and you're going, "This looks like crap." And then the people you see the people with the cameras and stuff—they're wearing jeans and all that—and then you've got people in gowns. And I loved it. I thought it was I thought it was great to watch because it made me really like think of it as a skeptic. I really looked at it that way because it was it was an eye-opening experience of this is what you see on tv every every time you look at the show but look at all this stuff that's going on around you that you can't see and i think that was a good good um thought just the price is right yeah yeah my uncle was on that he was wearing his uh air force uniform they pick a lot of guys in uniform yeah they like them oh yeah, yeah. He, he won he was in the mid-70s he won a uh, like a waterbed, an organ, and one other one other prize. Got to the the showcase and lost. It's organ, back. kidney, or liver? <laughs> <laughs> no, like a hand and organ. So, does uh, the new host say anything at the end? Is Drew Carey drawing attention to anything at the end of the show? 
Nothing. I think he has also been saying the like he's been saying the same thing. I don't know if he's saying the exact line, but he is definitely conveying the same. He definitely conveyed the same message for quite a while after he took it up. Um, I don't. I haven't watched it recently, so um, I don't know if it's still going on. But definitely, he took it up at the start. Okay. So very good. Let's go for our scores. We ready for scores? I think it was, I think we did good. Lots of high scores. It's fun that there's so many different categories. And they're so just different. I love it. Okay. This team, these two teams, let's see how they do. Uh, taking out the laundry. Six. That pipe is blocked with human pulp. Seven. Ooh, they pulled ahead. They pulled ahead. And politically correct, non appropriate rain dances. Dancers. Hi. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look but, at this team. but this is going to be, uh, this is going to be embarrassing. Frankly, we've always held Steve Bannon and frankly, we've always held Steve Bannon in contempt. Eight. And no Bones Day, so no team name. I have nine. I think we had 10, because we had the bonus. Woohoo! <laughs> well, we didn't get number five and number nine. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, you're right. I, I'm not looking at it right. No, you're right, it's nine. Sorry. Okay. And I that know. was the team that Jeff oh. was on. And I was on, thank you. Good job, me. team. Very good. Look at that. Good job. We have a 33. Jeez. Okay. Let's see. Uh, sorry, team. We're doing as good as Brian Laundry did. <laughs> oh, uh, hopefully a little better than that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <Oof. laughs> <laughs> okay, great job, Jeff. So our bonus is Carl. I don't is Carl done the bonus before? Yes. Yes. I did the EGOT winners. Oh, it wasn't the, it wasn't the Roger Ebert. Right. I repressed that memory. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. And I don't have a video people. of it, so you can, it is definitely repressed. Yeah. yeah. All right. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. Have you given me godlike, I have godlike powers. All right. Yeah. Godlike powers. Oh. Uh, if you're not in the United States, and you may not do as well on this one. And nobody is allowed to pull out their wallets and purses and look at their money. Uh oh. No. Federal Reserve Banks of the United States. I don't there like are 12 it. Federal Reserve Banks of the United States. Name 10 of them, including the city and state. Name 10. Name 10 city Damn. and state Federal Reserve Banks. Boom. Oh my God. Excellence. Excellence, Smithers. Excellent. <laughs> Can I have? I'm going to repress this memory too. <laughs> yeah. Go back to sleep. Pre repress. Hey, Mike is up late. I'm really impressed. So we're ten behind. Should our team just stay here and talk? Because there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Uh. All right. So um, Carl, send us to our room. All righty. Uh, breakout room. Yes. Federal Reserve locations of 10 of the 12. Jane, what room are you in? Three? Three. I'm going to stay here so that way you can reassign me back to four. So I don't go and spy on somebody's room on accident. Thank you. Another. Okay, number five. Just recently watched the movie. Good luck, it. everyone. I gotta take off. I gotta. I gotta fall asleep. Okay, all right. Worry. See you, Mike. Bye. Thanks for your help. So Isabella says she has them all anyway. All these, yes. right? Okay. Yeah. We have Boston, Massachusetts. Wait, wait. She does know these? Yeah, I know all these. I was joking. Oh. Somebody write it down. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. New York, New York. Got it. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Got that one. Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, Richmond, 
Vir Richmond, Virginia. Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Chicago, Illinois. St. Louis, Mississippi. Not Mississippi. Missouri. No, Missouri. Sorry. Um, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, Kansas City. We got that. Dallas, Texas, and San Francisco, California. I didn't know any of these. How do you know these things? And then like the board of the Federal Reserve is in DC. How do you know these things? AP, Opon. I think we ended up with 13 though. We've got San Francisco, Philadelphia. Is there one in Philadelphia? Yes. There's Denver. Right? I don't think one in Denver. You don't think? I don't think so. All right. So San Francisco, Philadelphia, New York, Kansas City, Boston, Cleveland, Richmond, Atlanta, Chicago, St. Louis, Minneapolis, and Dallas. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's all 12. Well done. Wow. But we're only supposed to be 10, right? Susan's so, how Hamilton. He's not around. He's. Oh, he's over here sleeping. Who's behind? Is that Ariadne? He's behind. No, Ariadne. Yeah, that's, 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 that's Charlotte, do you want to see the cats? Talking to you. Come see the cats. She's talking. Charlotte to wants to see the cats. Come here. Charlotte, the cats are here. They're not cooperating. That's, that's Ariadne's right over there in the corner. Oh. Ariadne's. That's her too. Of course, I want to get a cat. There's Ariadne. She's cute. Aren't you, they're talking about you. They're talking about you. <laughs> Classic yeah. cat. Talk Talk off, off, Mom. Whatever. So what else is new? Nothing. <laughs> this is Isabella just I know. Of the the dining hall food is literal what? trash. I left my set on fire I on a dumpster that's also set on fire. Okay. Don't like the dining hall food. Oh, so the pizza tonight wasn't bad. So are you enjoying being in college? One slice I got was uncooked and then the other one was overcooked. That's yeah, all right. It's not bad. <laughs> I'm playing. Oh, I got new uh, Dungeons and Dragon dice today. <laughs> I did. I'll show you. They're go they're rose gold. They're really pretty. Oh, look how pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. They look like jewelry. My exam is gonna be an This is what I, I do on my weekends. Uh, for my class, and then she goes Super nerdy. She's supposed to be doing school yeah. stuff. Well, I do it before oh, we play. We normally play at like three o'clock. So we study beforehand. Are you guys and, doing? and you don't have bad neighbors anymore, right? Yeah, I don't know how we can do that. Honestly. Carl, Isabella knew them all. So I was just talking. Really? Well, we think she does. So you're done. Oh, but we've been done. I well, walked well, in here and back we're done. So we can I did it. We're get ready to put on for like Andre's girlfriend. She's taken. Well, if you're um, if everybody else is done. It, no. no. You, you would like, be able yeah, to leave your room. Once. Uh, nobody else has done, as far as I know. Is that the Federal Reserve Bank behind you? That's, that's a Federal Reserve Bank, yes. Is that the one in St. Louis? Uh, I don't know where this Federal Reserve Bank is. I just <laughs> Googled Federal Reserve Bank and saved <laughs> the first image that looked like it would look good in the background. There it is. You are in front of it. I'm going to look what it up this now. this topic, Carl. Hmm? Why this topic? Must have been counting your money. Something that's interesting to me. Fi finance and budgeting and economy, economics are one of my hobby interests. And koi ponds. I took I took three semesters of economics in college. Oh, Caspian's also an economic major. I'm sure he's doing quite well with this. Hmm. Isn't there like several different kinds of economic? Well, the two principal divisions are microeconomics and macroeconomics. No, he had some philosophy of micro. Oh well, there's 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 yeah, there's philosophy, the supply side, demand side. Et cetera. No, there's some person. Keynesian, Charles Maynard Keynes. Is that right? Master of demand side economics. There's another. I thought it was to name. Austrian economics, which is Reaganomics, supply side economics. Hmm. Look at it's Halloween and fall at Isabella's. Check out place. another room. I haven't even decorated it. Yes, it is. Look how sweet that is. Yeah, we have our we have our leaves and the window signs. Actually, we also have lights. 
And bats. There's bats. I want to be a kid. There's lights. It's very light. Oh. Very nice. I want to be a, I want to be young. Oh wow. You should have had we have our we have our ceiling lights too. And you're gonna change again for Christmas. Well, I can change them on my phone actually. Yeah. Your lights? Yeah. There's an app. <laughs> There's smart lights. There's an app. I have smart lights in my kitchen because I don't have a dimmer and it's great because then you can dim them. Like, look, I can turn them off. Come on. Wow. I didn't then know. I can change the color. Was there a fire alarm in the no. Wow, I am so out of touch. I don't even know. I don't. I don't know about now. I'm I showing them now the I know. Now I know about these lights on your iPhone or on your phone, and no, I now I know the know. reserves. I'm so nervous that the fire alarm is going to go off like in the middle of the night. And yeah, I'm those orange look great. I wear like a t-shirt. You just you know what, Susan? Do you want to know what our worst fear is of living in the dorms? Neighbors like he had before. No, our worst fear is that the fire alarm is going to go off at like three in the morning and we're going to have to walk outside in like 42 degree weather in like pajamas. So you're going to keep something very warm near you so that you can put on it. Like, because it happened, because we nearly spent the night, I nearly spent the night in another dorm on, fr on Friday night and the alarm went off that night and I know I literally would have like cried if I had to get up at three in the morning to exit the building. Is somebody setting off the alarms? Is that what's going on? They think they're yeah, fine. it's either like smoking or like it's lately been popcorn. They burn the popcorn. I don't know how they're doing it. It's not that hard to make popcorn. Cereal. Um, they have just a bunch so, of cereal. Yeah. So you better keep some a very very warm. Do you know raincoatish yes. kind of thing because it's gonna it's rain. Getting very cold here. How fun. Why? I want to. I want to be young again. I want to do it all over again. College is wasted on the young. It is. It sure as heck is. Well, I was. I had children. Well, I started the year after I went out. Got out of high school. But I, I wanted it really now. bad. So, I didn't really take it seriously until I was thirty. I take. You, I take you seriously. Oh, thank you. But I didn't really go to school. School to get my degree. Well, sometimes I take you seriously. <laughs> no, so that one time i think i don't know you you, you were you were on like um i don't know it was we were when we were talking on the oscar meyer wiener that was a pretty funny conversation we still never figured out who it was who was driving know. oscar wiener, I know. Oscar wiener <laughs> mobile it wasn't you peggy was it what driving the oscar meyer wiener mobile i think it was carl no, no not carl it was kyle, kyle. It was some, kyle. Some, yeah it was kyle. it was kyle kyle is kyle playing tonight i think he did or he was that going to drive it that one should be yes i did I think he said he was, yeah, he was going to drive it, but it never happened. There's still time. How's Hold Selena, on. Susan? Huh? How's Selena? It's nice. We, we had rain. We had rain yesterday. Yeah, it's raining a lot up here. Oh, that's cool. Prematurely. Yeah, come on. 17, 17 minute seconds early. Carl, I, I don't know why, saying? because I was still in the room and I didn't leave. No, that's that's the problem. You have to be here to do it. Otherwise, it doesn't. Right. We uh, found that out before. Yeah, you have to be out. of the Zoom glitch. If you're in a breakout room and do it, it screws it up. Uh, okay. Carl, what were you saying? Uh, I was I was saying that uh, I got an email this week from my bank slash broker, Bank of America, Merrill Edge, where they they told me they were making a change to the online uh, banking policy that those are pretty forward, gruesome changes. Yeah, going forward, there would be a transaction limit of a maximum of nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand dollars nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents per transaction per day. It's gonna really cut you said, your, uh, man. That's really gonna cramp my will style. I cope? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I would just like to apologize to all the Bank of America customers because my past behavior has required this new policy. To be <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm move my money. Why did it say Dear Mr. Bezos at the top? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think a lot of people did pretty good on this one. Isabella knows them all. She, she rocked. Wow. So 
So Jeff, just guess on that last one. <laughs> Make your so best guess. The reason why I said must include city and state uh, was sort of a clue. An alternate clue would have been, uh, for your information, there is only one state in the entire country that actually has two Federal Reserve Banks in it. Because if you said Kansas City, you better have said Kansas City, Missouri for the yeah. Kansas City. Oh, we did. There they are. Boston, Massachusetts, New York, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Cleveland, Ohio, Richmond, Virginia, Atlanta, Georgia, Chicago, Illinois, St. Louis, Missouri, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Kansas City, Missouri, Dallas, Texas, and San Francisco, California. Hi. Caspian, did you get all these right, right too? We missed Cleveland and we missed two others. Not yeah, we them, definitely didn't get Richmond. Hmm. We get that Not one. We, we got nine out of 10. Yeah. 12 out of 12. We did, I, we did better than I thought. That's, nine out of 12. That's right. sure. now, if I could, I could have created a much harder non-bonus category that said, give the letter associated with each one. <laughs> a, 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 a is Boston. A is Boston. Yes. Yes. Gets 10 letters randomly out of the 26 letter alphabet. A to K. Right. Yeah. Can't duplicate them. Okay. So this should be easy to score. Is everybody score with a 10? No. I don't think so. Really? Oh. Oh, okay. That's interesting. There were some so, lot of high scores, um, but... uh, taking out the laundry. Um, I think, what did we say? We got nine. nine. I'm good nine. Wow. Ben, okay. did you miss St. Louis? Yes. I, I, I was in your group and I'm like, come on, man. I, one, I, I, I don't one live there put, anymore. I heard you like, in my brain. Purge, which one did we like put that was wrong? All Missouri memories out of your house. Uh, you yes. So which one did we put that was wrong? Denver. Denver, okay. Yeah, so their pipe Denver is blocked with list. human prey. Ten. Politically wow. correct, non-appropriative rain dancers. Six. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Wow, you guys were in third place. Oh, yay, we're not last place. Frankly, we've always held, we've always held Steve Bannon in contempt. Ten. Jesus. I get the ten. Um, and no bonus <laughs> today, so no team name. Seven. Oh, oh, wow, oh, narrow oh, victory. Oh, 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 man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Damn. I mean, that was... We squeaked. Yeah. <laughs> We're in third place. That is really, really interesting. Wow. I really thought there was a Denver, too. They know yeah, the yeah. This we one right too. here, politically correct. You guys were in third place until that last round, and then, wow! And we had wow. a couple of the right answers, and we uh, marked them off. Yep. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> very, <laughs> very good. So, so, by the way, so Kev, Kevin had an interesting thing. So, oh, everyone should know what this looks like. You have dollar bills in your wallet. So, in my critical thinking one hundred and one, when I get into how bad human memory is. This is what people usually draw when you say draw a $1 bill. <laughs> you see anything about a treasury on it? Everything on that is wrong, except perhaps that there are ones in the corners. Oh, even because the guy's face in the wrong way. That's correct. It does, there's no $1 written like that. It doesn't say in God we trust there. Yeah. It's oh, all wow. wrong. You didn't draw the owl either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We know and, where the owl is. And so com for comparison, mm. you know. But, yeah. but that you hair that is on e? point. You see the letter E? Then it says <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. Ah, yeah. oh. there we go. Yeah. By the way, this is how people draw the Volkswagen symbol, <laughs> and it's like that. And this is how people draw the Toyota symbol from memory. Oh no! And Some of those look more like Tesla. Fascinating. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Things Mem you don't memory see. absolutely. Sherlock sucks. Holmes would say, "You see, but you do not observe." Mm -hmm. there, there's each district that the branches are responsible for. Ah. Wow. I was, I Denver is covered by Kansas City. Wow, yeah, I would have the West one is Denver huge. Why is the West one so freaking huge? Because there are no people in the West. Just Remember, this is established here. in the California. 1912. Yeah. So. Hmm. And, and Alaska and Hawaii are part of 12? I can't tell. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. mm -hmm. Basically, 12 was and the rest. <laughs> and the rest. And <laughs> oh. the rest. Uh, and Hawaii. Susan, I have something I'd like to share. It's sure. a very short video if we have a minute. 
Yeah, go ahead. Um, this is uh, Rob. You know how you were talking about during your category, someone their their only um, credit uh, was what was it? Was it the My Little Pony or I don't remember which one it was. And that well, in combination Dan. with oh, no, the, the uh, half of John Delancey's page with My Little Pony. Yeah, yeah. and then um, in combination with Star Trek, I have this. I don't know if anyone's seen it. It's Tim Russ who was on Voyager, ah. but he was also on another show and i will share this and play this short oh video i think i remember seeing him. all right can you guys see that okay yeah all right oh wow i've been acting for 35 years 135 credits on imdb <laughs> i was in a long-running series you might remember it star trek but all i'm known for is combing the desert Sarah, <laughs> we ain't found shit. <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, I don't know. I don't know that reference. I thought you guys would like that. Realize, I didn't realize he was in know, Spaceballs. Spaceballs. Yes, wow. He was also oh my God. Spaceballs. Oh my God. That was a great in Spaceballs. <laughs> what was he so, in in Star Trek? He was Tuvok in Tuvok. Star Trek Voyager. He was he was the he was a Vulcan. He was a Star Vulcan. Trek, uh, he was the first the first black Vulcan ever shown. Some Star yeah. Trek movies too. Oh my god! Did you ever see the show uh, Electric Company? Yeah, yeah. Morgan Freeman's in that. Yep. Oh no. wow! Yeah. Oh wow! Right. So, so I thought I, that was funny. I think he's also speaking of about Star Trek. Fans will come up to him and they just reference that line <laughs> instead of referencing. So that's why <laughs> he made that video. So I thought that was funny. <laughs> Okay, so I want you guys to remind you that next week, oops, next week, I have Peggy. And just letting you know, that is close to Halloween. So you might might remember that that is, uh, might be a Don't have fact. anyone else? I have Peggy. She's up first. And to, I, um, Saturday, I, we have, um, I'm doing trivia. I hope you sign up for Skip. Uh, well, since Skip the next Cal. one is Saturday, since the next one is Saturday, next week wouldn't be two in a row technically. So I could do one next. Week. <laughs> that, that, that'll be Halloween related. Well, let's see who's got something. But you're not, else you're not doing a I'll, category. I'll do one. Kevin, okay. Yeah, I always have one ready if you don't have enough people. Okay. Who else? Peggy, like Kevin. Eight. I got a Halloween one in the works already. I just Paula? want to put that in there very briefly. <laughs> <laughs> On the okay. desert. I don't really. Poor guy. Okay. You sort of get it. So, so is, is that mentioned on his Wikipedia page, by the way? The fact that that whole thing? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to take a look. Interesting. Yeah. I just, I just love that video that he recorded. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody have something else besides Peggy and Kevin, who is not gone this week? Wow, I'm having to pull them out of you guys. Are you so busy that you can't write a category? Carl, Carl I wrote five in, a, in like two hours the other day. Carl did uh, the uh, bonus round and not a question. Does that give him any more? If he's got something, I guess. All right. Well, I can I, suggest I still... that Go ahead, Kevin. someone do their home state that hasn't been done yet. Oh, that's another thing that needs to be done. I like yeah. the Halloween theme idea. Yeah, something yeah. spooky mm -hmm. or whatever is fun. And, so and, I don't uh, have a bonus, and I haven't needed another category. Susan, I still think we need to it. do the the mailed pictures for for a bonus. <laughs> yes. much as some people don't mm. like it. Some yeah, of that would be a great thing. Well. That would be terrifying. I am. I am you can see how scared Bob looks. Bob looks terrifying. Scoring. Everybody, send in a Halloween picture of yourself as a kid in a costume. Oh. <laughs> Somebody one has one. It took me too why, long why to find the previous picture. Has one. That's yeah, we true. weren't allowed to go out for Halloween, yeah. so that's yeah. right there. I, mean, I don't think my has owned a camera. Right there. Hey, I need a bonus, and I need another team. I Very good, Peggy, Bob. Kevin, Very good. and Carl. <laughs> Bob's I'll do the, the bonus. Picture. Okay, Robin's it. got the bonus. 1958. And wow. I guess we'll give it to we'll give it to uh, Rob. Oh yeah, I have a good one. It would have been better for Wilma. <laughs> Okay, so it's Peggy, Kevin, Carl, Rob, and Robin. 
Oh, I was a tongue twister. But sign up, you guys. I want to see you here at our next. So I just event. registered, by the way, when you mentioned it earlier today. And so do I get an email that says something about? Yeah, you will get things? an email that gives you all the links okay. of everything you can do it. So Saturday night. I don't know what time, yeah. seven when is the first Saturday night is the first thing? No, oh, Friday. Uh, night. The first thing is tomorrow night. We're doing um, uh, skeptics in the pub. Skeptics in the pub. And it's just a yeah, and what time does that start? And your time, my time, what seven, time? I think. Seven? I don't know. Uh, I should probably look. But if I sign up, they'll have the information. Oh, yeah, you'll get yeah. all the okay. information. All right, I'm not worried about it. So, so is it yeah. automated or is it waiting for somebody to respond? Because normally those things happen instantly, and, and now it's been I about two it, hours, and I don't have anything. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. if, if I, I signed okay. up, and then it came a few days later. So. Days. We just released it today. I mean, I signed up a long time ago. <laughs> So. Okay, so I'll get it on when Monday. Is it when does it start then? 6.30 is 6:30. Skeptics in the Pub tomorrow. 6.30, 6 California 30, time. California, same as, same as trivia. And, and this is the same time for trivia, 6.30. But after spending the whole week sitting in a chair at my office, I don't see how I can spend my whole weekend sitting in a chair. Uh, like, uh, you'll my save yourself. I've, I'll do it standing up. <laughs> if we <laughs> sign up, we can watch it later, Robin. So sign up. Yeah, okay. You watch the you can watch the talks later. Get, get the right show. to watch it later. All right. It won't for be the around talks, for six, six months. Hmm? For the talks, you can like not show your video and then yeah, be list do, do the, the background for your for your doing stuff. Stream yard, and we're also going to have exhibitors. So you, so there's I have a I have a little exhibiting room where you're going to be able to go in during these breaks. And you can go in and you can talk to the different exhibitors. There's like six tables, like as if you were going around a, a conference room and there's tables set up. You can go in and out of the Zoom rooms to go to the exhibitors tables and see what they got going on in their room. And is this going to be on Netflix? No, not yet. I do have a TV producer tomorrow, actually, as I'm talking, Mark and I are going to talk to him. But we've talked to these producers so many freaking times and they all say, oh my gosh, we got to do a show on you. This is such a... And then, then it gets down to it. Nothing happened. So I, so the guy wrote to me up this morning and I, he says, I'm a producer from this show, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I, you know, we really have to do something in these psychics. We're very interested in this. And can we, can we talk to you and pitch a story to you tomorrow or whenever? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Anytime after 10 o'clock, uh, I'm in, in, in California time. He's like, okay, tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's just like, I told Mark, hey, Mark, we have another producer. <laughs> no, you, you should just you, you, like create you, a standards you, package and just say, here. Well, I don't, this video, this that's point, our proposal. I don't, I don't need to sell myself on them. They got to sell themselves. I mean, it's all the same thing. They just can't. It's like, yes, we got to do something about these psychics. But when it gets down to it, the, how do you, right. how do you, how do you do that? Because you got to film a psychic that you're going to absolutely mess with and you're going to, you're going to expose them and then lawyers and stuff like, and getting their permission to be on TV. It's just, I don't know how to do it. And that's not my business, but they're asking. I get, a, I probably get a, an email, uh, a producer, a director every few months. And then you're like, oh, okay. You need to curb your enthusiasm. Susan. Yeah, I'll try. I, I'll be lucky if I get out of bed Ooh, in time to, to meet with this guy tomorrow. He's in London. Glasgow uh, and in London is where they're, they're filming the studio. And it's a real place. I mean, I checked them out and everything, but I've never seen any of the shows they've done before. There, like, there are many shows in, in existence. Yes, and they're trying very hard to fill all this time and all this TV shows and everything. So this is the time to get a show out because they're all desperate for a show. I mean, to, to get content. Yep. So anyway, I'm going to say adieu to you all. So I do. I do. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.